Sunday night, so you know what that means. Welcome to the Garage Apartment. Sports and entertainment with your favorite partners, favorite partners. I am the funky militant, Adara Jones. And as always, I got the tribe with me. So let the listeners know who you are. Boy, my Mills is here. D Mac, back better than ever. My fixing the Amiibo. And we are here each and every Sunday night from 6 to 7 Central Standard Time. Be sure to check us out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And check out our website, thegarageapt.com. You can also download the app. Check us out on demand. Type in 92KELZ at your app store or your Google Play. And you get new music, new artists, new sound. And of course, on Sunday nights, you get us, the Garage Apartment. Coming up real, real soon. We got a big announcement coming up very, 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 very soon. So, oh, you can also hit us up live. I'm sorry, at 832-413-2013. Again, that's 832-413-2013. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, hit us up. We welcome you. Because you could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us. And we appreciate that. So, thank you for checking us out. Shout out to those who check us out on Facebook Live, YouTube. We're having some technical difficulties right now. But we're working on it. So, stay with us. Fellas, of course, today is a sad day, a shocking day, All right, big black mom. Uh, if you have not heard, a uh, former NBA superstar and future Hall of Famer, Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gianna and seven others were killed in a helicopter crash outside of Calabasas, California. Um, and I mean, of course, the world is just in shock. This comes just hours after he was surpassed by uh, LeBron James for third all time on the NBA scoring list in his hometown of Philadelphia. Um, and just as recently as last night, shortly after LeBron uh, set the record or surpassed his record, he tweeted, uh, congratulations, and then hours later, he is now gone, dead at 41. So, fellas, uh, what's, what's your reaction to the news of Kobe Bryant's death? I mean, it sucks. I mean, the man dead. I mean, so unfortunate. Something that he's done... Numerous of times, thousands of times, uh, helicopter to wherever he needed to go because of LA traffic. But I mean, helicopters and planes have been going down lately, and it's unfortunate that that he and the others, especially children, were in there. That were they were going to a. A traveling basketball game or tournament and especially his oldest daughter uh, and he has two other he, I mean they survived by two other children and and his wife I mean I mean plus his dad but so I mean it just it, it's just shocking honestly because Though I wasn't a Kobe fan, I mean, you just, just don't, you don't wish that type of stuff on anybody, or just, you just don't wish that type of stuff, death on too many people, and, uh, <laughs> he said too many, too many people. people. I mean, there's a bunch of people, people wish death on, one was, oh, what, 
Bin Laden and all them, like, whatever. <laughs> you just don't wish death because it can happen at any time. Any time. At any time. And it doesn't matter how rich you are, how poor you are, how hardworking you are, how great you are, how famous you are. You got to get buried one day. So, I mean, it just sucks that this man is 41, was 41 years old. And a very global figure in the world because of the sport of basketball and what he's meant to a lot of people because of his play in basketball and other things he did. I mean, 2020 starting off pretty rough. We say that every year, though. Nah, and it gets rougher every year. It was like, oh, 19 taking all of the. And, and, and I mean, it like gets rougher said, and rougher every year. That's a part of life. I mean, you know, it's probably what well, they say two things in life guaranteed that you die and that you're going to pay taxes. And you get away paying ta- without paying taxes for a while. D Mac. Ain't that right, Gary Jones? <laughs> Whoa. I think I'm going to do. <laughs> Asking for some D Mac. Yes, sir. Uh, I mean, it's just shocking. It's just really. It's really shocking. It's sudden. Like, he was just in the news because of LeBron James passing him. And then, ironically, or not ironically, however it happens, it just, he just, he just hit about him dying. It was just, I don't even, it's almost, it's hard to put in words because it's so unexpected and so out of the blue. Like I said, he was just tweeting yesterday. And congratulations. And, as Gamal was saying, it's something that he does literally thousands of times. He used to do it to every home game for multiple years. And this is just the one that happened. And sure. it's just shocking and unfortunate. Unfortunate it was just uh, going to the daughter's game or whatnot. Otherwise, she probably wouldn't have been with him. But I don't know. He was with them. She was with him a lot. Yeah. She's, isn't she the one on the meme to where he's yeah. talking to her? I, I I don't rem- really remember, but I know she definitely had a love for basketball. Yeah, she hoops. Um, she hoops. But they were headed to, to play the oldest girl. I mean, the other girl's game, or were they headed to her game? Headed to her game. They her were game. headed to her game. Yeah, the plays, yeah. the play, the... Wow. Yeah, and they were saying something about um, <clears throat> no, Tracy McGrady was broke, heartbroken because they were going. They were supposed to be playing, I think, in the same tournament. And he was broken down emotionally. He was supposed to be on the jump, but couldn't do it or something like yeah, that. Yeah, Kyrie so, Irving had to leave, yeah, too. Yeah, Kyrie Irving said he can't play for emotional reasons. I mean, a lot of those people are close. I mean, they're close to him. Yeah, they, and many they people them. admired. Yeah, a lot of people patterned their game or their, their lifestyle game after around him. And, and I'm, I'm sure Sha- Shaq said he's very... He's very heartbroken. I mean, like you said, because this this is bigger than sports. Like, this goes beyond sports. This is life now. And the one thing about death, like you said, you don't wish death on people because death is infinite. Death is infinite. Imminent? Imminent. Well, infinite, too, because it's final. I was like, it's final. Ain't no coming back from death. That would be finite. That would be finite. finite. I see what you're saying. (laughs) <laughs> if, infinite means going on <laughs> Finite means there's an end Infinite means going Well death goes on as I death know, It I don't know, end Death don't end No Stop but trying to just Finite Because <laughs> <that. laughs> I, I, no. I know what I was saying I was saying death. infinite for a reason death, death is infinite Okay yes I guess There's no coming back from death It's final that we It's know. infinite That we know It of. does not end That's finite Okay Anyway, death literally means the end, but I got you. (laughs) (laughs) Django's and flies. No, what what are you talking about? What did we do wrong? (laughs) What did I do wrong? We defined what finite and infinite meant. Finite means there's the end. But yeah, you acted as if I misappropriated the word. Well, you kind of just used it. I don't know. But it's okay. I don't know (laughs) if you're. What Very else are you doing with day. this word? And see, we can still find time to argue. See? So life goes on. Life is infinite. This is true. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> keep going on. 
What are your feelings about Kobe's death, sir? Oh, man, it was, uh, it's horrible. I was sitting there getting my brakes fixed. I was pissed off already about how much they told me it was going to cost. <laughs> this guy. And uh, <laughs> I made somebody cry. And, uh, it, it, you know, uh, older about guy it. I was talking to sitting next to me, his daughter called him, told him. I'm like, nah, nah, come on. Man. I made somebody cry at O'Reilly. Kobe Bryant. I'm like, you got it mixed up. It must be. It's weird how we get like that because he's still such a young man. Yeah, so I you still are like, nah, not Kobe well, Bryant, man. You crazy. I learned on Twitter about it. And then I was, and people were like, nah, Kobe ain't dead. No, nah, there ain't no way. And I was like, hold on. And I was like, trending. And it was like, yeah, Kobe's dead. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. What the? F it's crazy. Yeah, so it was, of course, very sudden. Um, you know, he was a great player, man. Um, like I said, I, being a Rockets fan my whole life, he wasn't one of my favorite players. But in a way, he was because you had to respect the man. Exactly. Um, and, and his game. Uh, uh, he was, God, he was a hard worker. Um, and uh, he was somebody who left it all on the floor. Uh, you think about his last game. And um, at least, you know, we have a really good last game to remember him by. Uh, he left everybody one more. I was thinking, well, shoot, he might as well go on for another year. He can still do that. And if anybody could have done it, it would have been him. Put up 61 shots? No, he put up 49 shots, actually. And he hit 22 of them. I mean, putting up no, 49 no, no, no. shots, that is a workout, brother. That is it. A, is, you but, can mm -hmm. admire that at 40, 50 years old. Yeah. I'm sure the other ones don't appreciate that, though. Yeah, they did because they were handing him the ball. Yeah, they wanted they him to won. score yeah, that. that what are you night, talking about? That night, but not for another year. Oh, no. For he... another year. For another year, they needed it. Because they weren't any good after he left. I mean, he went good no, when he was fair, there. Yeah, that farewell tour, they were horrible as well. Yeah. Well, yeah, that farewell tour. They were good for like four years he was there. Well, yeah, but, but you know, uh, they were really, really good most of the time he was there. Really, okay? really good. Best team in the league. Um, his legacy is... You know, it it, it it speaks for itself. Um, but, you know, he, he was a guy that for competitive reasons and for my home team this, that I was like, man, forget Kobe. But at the end of the day, one of the greatest players uh, that we ever got to see and anybody who loves basketball and loves sports in general, Kobe was a true sportsman. And um, he gave it his all every time he went out. And he was somebody that you wouldn't mind telling your son, watch this dude. Yeah, watch some old tape of this guy and see how you're supposed to work, because he never stopped working. Came back from an Achilles injury, went over to Germany. Uh, I and I remember, and I, and I know this isn't something that you're supposed to bring up, but I remember during his whole ordeal with the trial in Colorado, uh, the way he handled that on the floor. All right, I'd say I, I mean I'm actually going <laughs> to talk was about just it. amazing. I, mean, I was going to bring that up because I realized the day after the news, like. I actually liked him more than I gave myself credit for. Because mm -hmm. like, like you said, I hated him as a player, but that was because of my being a fan of the Rockets. And, of course, he was always a Everybody competitor. Them. Right, a competitor and a killer of the Rockets. A thorn in our side. But I can honestly say that as much as I didn't want to, I had to respect him in his game because – the dude was very good. He was extremely competitive, extremely hardworking. And like I said, even though I wasn't a fan of the player, as the man, the Kobe, Kobe the man, I mean, I couldn't help but respect that, number one. Uh, and, and then being a father and being a husband and being uh, uh, um, all of those things, it, it it's crazy because this is bigger than this is bigger than the sport. Yeah, and he was somebody else that if if he was on your team, <laughs> oh, you, you would have been just as proud, right? So all those Laker fans that got on my nerve all these years, you right. know, I, I get it absolutely. <laughs> and and, me, and, and like it. you said, and it was envy too. It's like man, forget y'all. And like you said, because <laughs> when he right when he had his 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 his, his little incident. Well, I shouldn't say little incident, yeah. but when he had his occurrence of uh, his, it wasn't even a fall his from grace. Colorado. When he had his moment, right? 
That man worked hard to endear himself back to his family and back to the graces of his fans in the NBA and put himself in a position to uh, 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 generate revenue once again for others. Like, the folks didn't just turn a blind eye to that. He worked hard to endear himself back to those people. And it just shows the work ethic that he put in, the ability to uh, uh, be at the top of his his game, at the top of the game, his entire career. You know, a lot of people didn't like him because he was arrogant or because he prophesied what he was going to do, and he went out there and did it. Of course, that rules people the wrong way, but, you know, when you actually go out and do it, they can't help but respect that. So now, question. Because, of course, we know first ballot Hall of Famer. He's eligible this year. Yeah, he was that anyway. Does the NBA retire his jersey universal? No. He ain't done that to Jordan yet. So no. But I was going to say, but, ain't no but Jordan's not dead. And what I mean by that is Kobe is just as iconic as Michael Jordan. Kobe had two numbers. Kobe, Kobe influenced a, a, an entire generation of players just like Jordan. Which, I don't know if he's about? just as. What number, is, what number are you talking about? I'm telling you, he's just as because he is he influenced and expired an entire generation of players just like Jordan did. And, 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 and until and until I don't know that's a good question and until yeah but until Kobe, LeBron James entered the league Kobe was the one being compared to Michael Jordan because Kobe game was Michael Jordan's game well I mean you might can say that he yeah, was definitely he had inspired after but I, I mean you nobody would, who came after Michael Jordan wasn't yeah. inspired right him. or didn't implement Michael Jordan in some way no but his was carbon copied. No, it wasn't. Yeah, some of it was, he was just better. But he was able to do more of what Jordan used to do than other people. Everybody tried to do what Jordan. Right, everybody emulated Jordan in some way, but some Kobe, form of in fashion. My, in, my, in my opinion, as a a LeBron fan, me and Kobe have often had opposite thoughts. You and Kobe. Well, I don't know. I'm just not, <laughs> wasn't necessarily a Kobe fan. You know what I'm saying? So, but my biggest takeaway from him was his. I guess, I don't know if it was his competitiveness would be the right word or his determination, his mentality. He just, as you were saying, he would seem like he was able to will things on the basketball court more than a lot of other people. He, he was able to just do things that he shouldn't have been able to do, take teams that shouldn't have been able to make it in certain uh, areas and take them further than a lot of other people. And it's mainly because of that, I guess, that killer mentality where when the game was on the line, you knew what happened. He was going to take the shot. He's going to make it. He's going to miss it. Um, I admire that because as a LeBron fan, that's clearly one thing that he's lacking. Mm -hmm. And obviously you, you have spectrums. You don't, I don't want him to be all Kobe. I prefer LeBron's game over Kobe's game. But the fact that he can just kill that game, that is something that, as a person also who plays basketball, that not many people can do. Like, that is something that you have to work on. You have to be cold enough to do it, and then you have to have the mentality to do it, and you have to have the ability to do it. And I respect that most about him, that he was able to put all those together, and I hadn't seen that since Michael Jordan in that whole capacity, and I don't know who I've seen since, honestly, off the top of my head that can do that, except for maybe... Kevin Durant? Nope. I was mm -hmm. going to say Steph Curry. I wouldn't put Kevin Durant up there, and I wouldn't put... You going to say Steph Curry? Yeah, I wouldn't Just on, just on the Curry. fact that he can he can control a game in that manner. He can literally take over a game. Kevin Durant can't just take over the game? You've seen him. Uh, Kobe Kevin was a nine-time defensive pass. player of the year. I mean, uh, all uh, NBA all, defensive all, players. All, First team all so, defense. So, he... he he had a total game, uh, and those are the guys I like. Uh, and not only he had a total total game, but he had a, uh, a a desire to make sure he was the best on the court. What I mean by that is, yeah, he he was. You know how they they teasing uh, Richard Sherman about not traveling, not following the best receiver. 
Kobe traveled the best player on the on on the tape, even if it was a center. He'd get down there and play post defense since you like to say he up. couldn't hold him. Well, Gilbert Arenas, yeah, well, he was one of the few. He had a few moments I'm against sure. Kobe. He had a few moments against Kobe. We can't sit here and say that Gilbert Arenas was a better player than Kobe Bryant. We certainly can't say that. Uh, he had his moments. In that. You know, he had his moments. Everybody, I think everybody has those moments from time to time. From time to time. But we got away from the question. I don't, well, at least I don't remember everybody's response. You said they're not. They wouldn't retire his jersey, uh, Universal. They will not retire his jersey, Universal. I don't even Lakers. like all that Universal Lakers jersey might retire his jersey. Stuff. But like I say, which jersey you gonna retire? Eight? Then they already retire one. Well, the Lakers retired both of them. Yeah. Oh, well then, yeah, no. The Lakers yeah. retired both of them. The league's not gonna do it because yeah, they, they ain't done in Jordan yet. But that, that's what I'm saying. They Jordan ain't done, dead, like he said. That Jordan is not he dead. He got to be dead. Will's dead. He ain't got to be dead. That's Jordan. There's is, people that don't wear 21 as is. 21? I mean, wears, 23 uh, as is. Yeah, see, Jordan was so great, you don't even remember his number. Oh, now don't say it like that. <laughs> now don't say it like the, like, boy, boy, business history. Boy. So where does he rank uh, on your all-time? All-time list? He's top, he's I'm going to be honest 10. with you. The Houston Rockets fan in me still won't. Top 15? Won't. Yeah. He's top, he's top 10. He's top 10, top 15. Now I'm talking about from people that we actually watched. I'm not. I mean, even people. He's not to, the best two guard. Oh, you're not going back with the. I mean, starting I, at Jordan Bay or uh, yeah, Magic and well, 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 I'm ta- we're all around the same age. I'm talking about people that I watched. Yeah, he, uh, he's not I didn't than, see Oscar Robertson play. Right. Or okay. Will Chamberlain. You've seen okay. Jordan play. You see uh, exactly. He's not, he's not better than Jordan. He's not no. better than Jordan. He's, he's not better than Magic. No. He's, he's not, not be- better than Bird. Magic's my number one. He's not better than LeBron. He's not care better than LeBron. Said. He's not better than LeBron. That's five already. To me, he's not, he's better, not better than LeBron. No, nah. He's not better than LeBron. I, I put him better than LeBron. What? How? No. I put. What do you mean? How? How? <laughs> how? That's absurd. <laughs> how That's is that absurd? I mean. How is he better he's than LeBron? Never, he's never carried a team. I mean, it's a valid. He statement. never Did carried a team. He's never carried yes, he's team. carried teams. He's carried no. teams to the eighth seed. Yes. Who? But just explain it for me. He's never carried a team to the finals. He hasn't. No. Who, really? Kobe? No, he hasn't carried a team. No. He didn't to carry the a team to the finals. Who, whose team he, he never won? He never won anything until he got a big man. Whose team he carried? He couldn't do he it until Shaq, Shaq, and then and he, he couldn't do it Powell. again until he got Powell. Powell was the best. Well, and people might. sleep on Powell. Powell oh. made a difference. He was second best. Yeah, no, he might have carried that. One. Powell he made as big a difference as anybody else on the floor. You have to have four other guys. You have he, to have eleven other people Well, yes, with he you. did. He had Lamar yes. Odom. He yes, had, he did. He, he had he Metta Well Pizza, mm-hmm. uh, Ron Artest. Right. He had uh, name the so people. Le- so LeBron's gone out there with a rec league team and yes, won a title. Has. No, he has not. Who? His first, his he first run. NBA he didn't win a title, but his first run with Cleveland, he yes, he took the. Uh, eh, I won't say mediocre, but uh, eh. they were mediocre. Uh, Mo uh, Williams, team, was Mo Williams was the best thing he had, and he was trash. I yeah, put him Mo above Williams LeBron. Was still stop it. He was still I'm, an all star. I put him above LeBron for the very thing that you just said the a few instinct? minutes ago. The fact that at the end of the game, you can count on him to take that shot, whether he look, misses it or not. He's not going to drive the lane and pass it off to Kyle Korver. Well, yes, you. of course He's you, not gonna you, do that. you well, trust him to take that shot, but truth be told, all of them missed that shot. How it, many yeah. of them? I don't care about missing. I'm, I'm talking take, about the guy willing I'm to step up like and shoot it. Well, I think you would ask any any of your any team with their best player, you want them to take the shot. But Kobe left the league do third that. all-time in scoring. Uh-huh. And third all-time in scoring. Playing LeBron 20 James years. is going to leave the league at number one. He's going to be top 10 or top 5 in assists, and it's going to be how top long 10 or top to... 5. Kobe played 20 years. Now, I understand Kobe that, but how 20. long does LeBron have before he uh, catches a He's, If he averages He's 5, 25, points 26 away. points for the next two years, he'll catch uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. He'll catch Kareem. A little bit more than two, and two in, that's about two and a half. Okay, maybe well, maybe I'll just say personal style. And, you and, prefer and, Kobe Bryant, which thing. is I not prefer surprising. Kobe for several reasons. I'm just saying. <laughs> what does, what that, does mean? that mean? What does that the man, mean? The man is going to go down. Yeah, I'm trying to figure what exactly the that means. The man is going to go down as one of the best winners in basketball history, which is kind of a little another story. But I understand what you're saying with he has that mentality that is the killer mentality that very few people have in that wins championships. 
And he paved that the way for LeBron. I'm not gonna lie, he has played with excellent people. You say but he paved those the way. Were not LeBron able said to that go. last night. Yeah, LeBron admires him. No, no, Le- Le- LeBron, LeBron is LeBron supposed to admire Kobe. I'm Thinking not... about coming out at uh, going to the NBA at 17 years old. That was the thing, coming out of high school. But, but more so than that, but in so my Kobe opinion, he paved was one of those that were him? bred for this. I was like say, he what, was born for this. What college he was? LeBron like, didn't know Daryl Douglas. Okay. I'm not talking about doing, but I mean, Garnett <laughs> he, he did it before Garnett. Garnett, Garnett, say Garnett say. did it before Kobe. LeBron didn't say nothing about Garnett. He knows Tracy McGrady. He said Kobe. He didn't say nothing about Tracy McGrady. He said Kobe. I'm going by what he said. I mean, and, and, and don't get me wrong. He's supposed to. So that's the guy he saw. Right. I okay. Guess so. so, yes, he I paved guess. the way for him to make him believe that, yes, I can do this. And Kobe didn't sit out yeah, like that. that. There were a lot but, of people who went straight. Not a lot, but there were a few guys who went straight from high school. But. Al Harrington? Yeah, they were. But Jonathan again. Jonathan Bender? Yeah, J- Bender, yeah. But then Bender. again, like I said, LeBron didn't mention none of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> he I mean, mentioned Kobe. Yeah, I mean. I'm yeah, going off of his words. Rashad Lewis. Uh huh. Yeah, it was, I mean, that Jermaine was. Jermaine O'Neal. That, that was that. that Eddie was, Curry. We can name about, a lot of Right. That was about that time Steven when that's when they were doing. They were doing that. Sean Kemp. Kendrick Steven Perkins. Jackson. Sean Kemp went to school. Don't let them fool Sean you. Sean Kemp went to JUCO for like a hey, semester. Hey. Hey, that don't even count. Still got hey, grades. Don't count. hey, <laughs> don't hey, count. that transcript say something. Hey, that doesn't count. I'm just gonna. Uh, but yeah, man, definitely uh, uh, Kobe Bryant uh, will be missed. And then we don't know what else the man was going to do. Yeah. Oh, that's another thing. You can't forget. Now, I will say everything that he has had his hand in, he has made sure he was the best at. The man even won an Academy Award for a documentary. Mm-hmm. He didn't like, make the documentary. He he produced, he produced it. it. He had a lot. Trust me, a producer plays a role in a do? film. Put money into it? Yes. He, that's all he And did. you get awards for that. The, the documentary was about him. Yeah, exactly. It wasn't even a documentary. What was it? It was his retirement little thing that the Lakers did. It was his retirement little thing. So obviously, Gamal still holds of this thing. No, I'm just saying what it was. (laughs) It's what it was. It wasn't like he was. uh... The man produced an Academy Award winner. No, he didn't produce it. They just knew it was Kobe Bryant. He was the executive producer. He produced. I just told you what it was. It was the thing that they. Kobe Bryant's. Everybody, pay attention to nobody does that. Nobody does what? What are you talking no about? No players like say, get this clip here, get this clip here, get this clip Have here. Have you seen it? Yes. It's and the, you saying it was only his what? His farewell America. tour? It was his farewell video. That's exactly what it so was. So you the, telling me that he won an Academy Award for just doing something that has already been? Yes. Seen throughout. That's what it was. That's what it. All right. What so, numbers it got? It didn't get any numbers. Nobody's seen it except the people that were at that game. What are you talking about right now? It's not on Netflix. You can't put up Netflix and be like Kobe Bryant's documentary. You but can't pull that, that up. That that has something to do with where it, how it was distributed and whoop to whoop. That has oh. nothing to do with the quality of the film and why it won an Academy Award. Okay. So again, it's obvious. It's not obvious. That it's Gamal not like still it was, has wasn't like he was a Obama still doing from, a whole audiobook. It wasn't like he was what? Obama doing a whole audiobook. You're right, because that won't win an Academy Award. That would win a Grammy. Exactly. So and still, it was so what you downplaying a Grammy? No, I'm saying they are two different things. It, it's the same. It's an award, so it's the same thing, actually. Oh, okay. You you're right. I see. <laughs> I see. That's what mood you're in today. So okay, no problem. I'm in. I'm indefinitely right. <laughs> or hey, infinitely. Right. I tell you what. You are whatever you want to be today, sir. Yeah, you're right. I'm you are a chameleon. Right. You are a chameleon. I am infinitely right. So now. Can I, can I, can I make a statement really quick? Please do, sir. Kobe Bryant versus LeBron James, head-to-head, 20 games. LeBron James averaged 28 points. Kobe averaged 25. LeBron, seven rebounds. Kobe, five. LeBron, seven assists. Kobe, five. 46% field goal percentage for LeBron. Kobe, 42 Thirty-one percent for both of them from the three-point line, and fourteen wins for LeBron and six for Kobe. Okay. Just a little snapshot there of the two careers. Don't get me wrong, Kobe's great. 
great. But I nobody would put I Kobe you, as I the goat. I think LeBron is better than Kobe because I think LeBron is better than Jordan. People laugh at me, but whatever. I think LeBron is better than Jordan. So, of course, if I think LeBron better than Jordan, I got to think he's better than Kobe. I certainly don't agree with but, that. But uh, because, like you say, head to head, LeBron definitely outplayed Kobe. I don't think LeBron is better than Magic. Because, like I said, Magic is the GOAT. I, you know I what? what and and, and, and I, I, can, I, can, I can see that. I can see that. Magic because because 32 I'm going to tell you why. It. I also think. That magic is better than Jordan. So, mm-hmm. I mean, so mm-hmm. me saying LeBron, me saying LeBron I, better I don't than Jordan. Know about God, that. What, I would start with magic. Did, did, did you not I see can't. Lakers versus Bulls? Like, like that was man, one that series, was, uh, and and not to mention that was a much older Magic. It Johnson. wasn't much older so what, Magic what, Johnson. What, now, no, okay, that so was what, a depleted Lakers team. What was the flaw with Michael Jordan? Like, why, why do you not consider him I great? Just, I didn't it's say not that you don't consider say, him great. Why, I mean, why, you're so talking why, one A, one B, and one C. Johnson better than Michael Jordan because Magic Johnson had an all-around game. Magic Johnson can literally play all, all five, five positions. positions on the floor. Okay. Magic Jordan. Johnson did not master all five positions on the floor. Magic Johnson couldn't shoot. Therefore, the two position he did not master. So, so wait, wait, he wait. He could wait, not wait. shoot. He could score. He could score when he wanted to. He could score when he wanted to. So the four, he mastered. The three, I'll let you have it. The one, he's clearly the best ever. Uh-huh. And the five, he was there. He shot so a good shot. So if you shot, just named four, put if you just named center. four out of five positions on the floor, I'm saying and Jordan only played one. One, but he is the best to ever play that one position. Oh, some people That's may, the thing. Some people may he disagree. He is the best to, oh. Some oh. people may disagree You with say that. there's a better shooting guard out there? A better scoring I said some guard? people may disagree. Some oh. people may disagree. Well, I will tell those people they're wrong as yeah. well. I just like Magic as an all-around player. I mean, uh, man, I told you, Michael, Michael Jordan wasn't even the best player in his draft class. And, I, I mean, it is what it is. Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan was not the best player in his draft class. I mean, that's just the truth. Some say Magic wasn't the best player in his draft class. Some say, hey, and 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 that's a valid point. And if Magic's you can career say, was cut real short. If you short. say Larry Bird is better than Magic Johnson, eh, it was man. cut real short. Magic had five rings by the time he was thirty-two, and when he announced his HIV status, right. and like was, you said, Larry had Bird just had turned three, thirty-two, and years they up. were knocking each other off the game. Yeah. Also, Magic Johnson also always had Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And the one time he didn't have Kareem Abdul-Jabbar mm-hmm. is when he came across Michael Jordan and he lost. Mm-hmm. You know, one time they didn't have Kareem, they won the finals against the 76ers. That was in the last two games of the season. And, and, now, and, and who starred in that game? Magic Johnson with 42 yeah. points and something, something assist and whatever, whatever he had I got to bring playing, yeah. playing I, see, center. I don't, I don't like care that. about your stats. As far as your scoring stats, because you're going to show me 32 points a game or something like that, which is fine. I'm talking about a guy who so, – So, Matt Johnson his, had more of an impact on a game than – Than Michael than Jordan? Michael Jordan? Absolutely. He was the point guard. No, 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 yes, no, 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 no. he was no. the point guard. Mm-hmm. And he, he Magic Johnson he revolutionized, Magic the Johnson revolutionized the game, and is the reason that Michael Jordan was able to get the accessibility to be that's, seen. That's – no, that's technically – a Magic Johnson and a Larry Bird thing. It was not Magic Johnson, and there no, mo- and it's a race reason why. So it's not just Magic Johnson. Those two people were together. Those two people took it off a of tape delay. Magic Johnson alone would not have been able to do it. He had to have that rival that had to also be cold That's as fine. Larry Bird. That's he fine. Did. All yeah. I'm saying is that. So Magic what I'm Johnson- saying is the reason that Michael Jordan is regarded by so many people as the greatest is because more people saw Michael Jordan play. Versus Magic Johnson and those and, and Larry Bird and those before them, like you said, because it was on tape delay. They didn't have the 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 the, the uh, broadcasting contracts that they now have now, where you can literally watch every single but NBA Magic game Johnson that you want to see. That. He played under those contracts. He brought those contracts in. That's my point. So I'm saying the only reason that Michael Jordan is regarded as the greatest ever is because he was seen by more people. I I imagine that if the same amount of people saw Magic Johnson in his prime the same way that they saw Michael Jordan, he wouldn't be regarded as the GOAT and Magic Johnson would be. I disagree. You're talking to someone who saw them both. 
did not see early Magic Johnson. Saw early uh, Magic Johnson in his later prime, I mm-hmm. would say. Uh, but still his prime and then his departure. And then saw Jordan, not early Jordan, saw Jordan in his prime, his later prime as well. The the reason I put Jordan as the greatest ever um, has a lot to do with Amaz's remarks on Kobe Bryant. It's that there was nobody, nobody who has been able to take over a game that I have been able to see like Michael Jordan. There was no one who could literally inflict uh, uh, that type of fear and then still come out and put up 45 points every night. There was nobody, there was nobody that I've seen that can do it like that. Kobe was the closest one, but Kobe wasn't the one. Michael Jordan was the sole player on his team. Oh, Hold stop. On, say no. Okay, <laughs> because see, why? I did not finish the sentence. Why? I no, no, no. Sentence. You don't have to. I was to. not going to stop at sole player on his team. Mm-hmm. Okay. He Come was on. not the sole player on his team. That he was the sole player on his team that could literally do the scoring at that rate that was needed. Okay? Not to mention the fact that he went from a person who just put up buckets uh, at uh, 45 a night to a person who realized that that wasn't going to be successful, changed his whole game, and made it to a successful run, um, basically beating the Pistons, beating the Boston Celtics, able to get to the championship he has. Also, the last thing, he's never lost a championship. That's all. Uh, yeah, okay. No, okay. So that's something to be said because everybody else that I know of who has greatness has lost a championship. But what does that mean? He also didn't that have means the that Celtics. every time he I'm got to, to the ultimate goal, he was the best player out there and won that. He's not that undefeated in the playoffs. Said. He lost playoff series before. He lost playoff series. I'm not talking about playoff series. Don't get me wrong. I. I'm not talking about playoff series. I'm talking about the NBA Finals, the one the epitome of your career, the epitome of the season. When you get to that point, who's going to win it? It doesn't matter if you have the better team or not. If you're the better player, that's usually what does it in basketball. He came out there and been the better player every single series. So now, quick question, and then we're going to move on. I'm going to let you respond, and then we're going to move on. So now, because I'm, I'm going to show you why I, I have to disagree with that statement. Well, as far as your point is, he never lost. Who would you regard as the greatest football player of all time? Who would you regard as the greatest You're football player? I'm asking everybody. Who do you regard as the greatest football player of all Barry time? Barry Sanders. He who, who won nothing. Mm. <laughs> okay. Um, still the greatest player. Greatest football player. Who would who do most Joe people Montana. regard? Who do most people regard as the greatest most football player of all Joe time? Montana, Jerry right? Rice. Jerry Rice is what I've heard most. Jerry from Rice. So people. now lately, everybody has been saying who? I don't know. Thomas Tom Brady, Brady, right? Mm-hmm. Who? Because Thomas Brady, because of his championships. Right. Thomas Brady has also lost the most Super Bowls. Uh-huh. Are you gonna tell me that he is not one of the greatest of all time simply because he lost more Super Bowls than anybody he else? He is one of them, but he's not the. That's exactly my Tom point. Brady is the Just because player. Michael Jordan went undefeated in the NBA Finals, mind but you, don't forget what does that he have lost. To do with, I don't. I don't understand the comparison because Tom Brady didn't go undefeated. I don't understand. That's my. You're I'm, saying that made Michael Jordan one of the greatest of all. I mean, that made him the greatest of all time because he's undefeated in the NBA Finals. So, so what? No, he I'm was saying, undefeated in the NBA Finals. That's I it. I think he's saying also he was the greatest. Person the best at player that position. In the finals. He was the MVP of the finals. He was the best player on the court <clears throat> at the time when the championship yeah, was decided. He got the MVP all six Every times. Yeah. single uh-huh. time. Yeah. That's all I'm don't, saying. Don't most all stars do that? No. They do not. Magic Johnson is MVP. the dude you're putting above him, and he didn't do that. Kobe Bryant did not do that. He Shaquille was, O'Neal did not do that. Yeah. Tim Duncan did not do that. Yeah, Magic was a three-time uh, uh, Finals MVP. Kobe yes, won but two. but Kareem won. Uh-huh. Kareem is Tony probably Parker the greatest player one. of all time. Yes, Tony Parker won one, and nobody puts him near that. Yes, you're right. And see, a lot of that, but, too, is lack of... <laughs> understanding too when people of the game, yeah, is what that is because Lord. Michael Jordan was so mainstream. All right, uh, nobody got the mainstream fame that he has, 
And then, you know, you got kids these days wanting Jordan. So, yeah, Jordan They've never seen them play, and they spending yeah, $200, dollars for Jordan had that icon shoot. status. Jordan I had that icon status, okay? I rooted against I I rooted against him every time, too, and, and he used to kill me. But why is it that, okay, so I was just talking about Magic. We were talking about Kobe. Right. And everybody said, well, Kobe never won it by himself. He had Shaq. And Magic had Kareem, and he had James Worthy, he had Michael Cooper. He had a heck of a team. You right. have to have a heck of a team to win the finals. All right. Okay? Nobody does it. It with just, just doesn't work like that. But nobody gives Michael Jordan, even though there's another Hall of Famer and another 50 greatest all-time player in his starting five for all six of those championships. And he had a third one for the last three. Exactly. With Rodman, one of the, mo the, one of the most valuable players you could possibly have. I'm not going to say greatest player ever, but – you just can't. What he did yeah, you was can't. great. But a guy who goes after loose balls like 30, that gets 20 rebounds, rebounds a, game. a game. Thank you. Okay, who gets you extra possessions, who got Jordan those extra shots off of offensive rebounds when he would miss that turnaround jumper. Because, yes, Jordan was another who put Don't up 35, Don't forget Horace Grant. Shots. Horace Grant was, 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 was an all-star and all. I don't know. And Bill Cartwright was there clogging up the middle. And he was still a decent shot blocker in his old age. Okay? So... Uh, Okay, so, so he was. Then, he was a decent shot blocker. Oh, People didn't just drive the lane he was and dunk on Bill Cartwright. Can I ask a question real quick? Yeah, sure. ask whatever question you want. Where you put Scottie Pippen all the time? I wasn't a Scottie Pippen fan, so I don't put him that high. But now I'm, I'm not going to sit here and say. He can't be in the top 10. So I'm not going to sit here and say he wasn't great. Who? Scottie Probably Pippen? Scott, top 20 Pippen. of all time? Of all time. Absolutely not. Is he, you don't think so? He's top 20? Is he top 30? I'm going to say, is he top 50? He's definitely top you, you 50. You've got to say top 50. Okay. Where you put I'd have to get a list, but I'd put him in top 20. You put him in top 20? Yes, I would. Where do you put him in his position? I would say he's definitely not top five in his position. We talked about this the other night. Yeah, and I didn't agree with that either. So, <laughs> oh, who were you people? Because, nah, because, be, because he made Oscar Robertson a three. When Oscar <laughs> Robertson was Oscar a point guard. Oscar Robertson a three. Yeah. Well, no, no. But, the, the, but, but the real conversation Gervin, was. And, and this is a man who talked. I don't care about James Harden scoring. But yeah. he put George Gervin above Scottie Pippen. <laughs> when George Gervin, all he did was score. Yeah, that's And never won Jack. I played with Michael Jordan. He, George Gervin? Yep. So? <laughs> okay. So they both played with Michael Jordan. Anyway. We're moving I mean, on. All I'm saying is that he is nobody. Okay? Who? Scotty Pippen is nobody? He's a, he's a nobody? top 50 player. He's a top 50 player. You're trying to say that that guy is comparable to Shaquille O'Neal, that that guy is comparable to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, to James Worthy, that that guy is comparable to Definitely Dwayne James Wade? Wade. Yeah, the things he did on the floor. To Dwayne you, Wade? Do we not remember who Scotty Pippen Dwayne was? Dwayne Wade's wait, better than Wait, wait, wait. That. Even if you say Scotty Pippen is nobody. Pac Gasol was better Again, than we talking oh. about we're talking about Dennis <laughs> Rodman. Pac was the second best center in the league. You jumped time. out the window. Yeah, okay. He <laughs> we're was talking the second. About, okay. Well, right he, now, Stats. He was the second best center in the league during his time. Okay, was Akeem Olajuwon there? Yes. Was no, Patrick Ewing there? That's not the point. Oh, you talking about when Paul Gasol? Yeah, was yeah, Patrick no, Ewing there? Of course not. Huh? Shaq. Was David Robinson there? No, no, of course not. Okay, so he didn't play against a whole lot of great centers. Okay. Okay, so come on, man, stop it. You you can't make Paul Gasol a more valuable player than Scottie Pippen. When Scottie Pippen was on the team, Paul he won Gasol six rings. 17... Nine and three. Yeah, throughout his career. Okay. Go back to Pippen. I know Pippen had 16 because I just had his page yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so I, let's see. What I'm not talking course. about the Houston and the Portland years, even though he played very good in Portland. Pippen having 16, six and five. Not a single stat higher than him. The field goal percentage. What did he average when he played with the Bulls? Center, what, so that one's okay. what were his averages when okay, he played so with the Bulls? I'm That's go what back. I want to see. I don't want to see when Scottie Pippen was 40 I'm still playing. I'm gonna go the way uh, my boy, my cousin Kush Kim, uh, questioned it. Again. Who would you rather have? I'm Kawhi, taking Kawhi Leonard or Scottie Pippen? I'm taking Kawhi, but it ain't because Kawhi is that much greater. It's just oh, that my. I told you, I'm not a fan of Scottie Pippen. Kawhi is Scottie Pippen times five. What? He is Scottie Pippen. They actually have very, better, very more similar athletic, games. can shoot better, more mm -hmm. athletic, can dribble better, and plays better defense. And what makes you think he was more athletic than Scottie Pippen? And what Pippen? makes you think he could dribble better? What made him more Scottie athletic Pippen than Scottie the ball. Pippen? Scottie Pippen was the point guard on those I, I, teams on the court. He I, I brought understand. the ball up the floor. I understand. He I was more I, athletic than Scottie Pippen. And the only thing I did not Pippen. say was he, could, he did not pass better. I specifically chose the attributes that I chose because that's how I feel. Okay, again, it's on the feeling. 
So you can't tell I mean, everybody else they're wrong. I have to look up stats. Okay. More than a feeling. Anyway. That's going to be a tough one to look up. So, yeah, we'll have to look. We'll, we'll, we'll pick that up on the other I side. I mean, you can talk about that all day. He wins day, better. Rest in peace to Kobe. Who wins better? Kawhi. Kawhi's got, Kawhi's got what, two championships? Hey. Three? Oh, I can't forget the Clipper ones. Three? Hey. Scotty Pippen has six with Jordan. Okay. Ka- wait, wait. Kawhi played with Tim Duncan. Tony Parker. Tony Parker. Kawhi. Manu Ginobili. And, who and was, had Greg Parker. And who, was, and who was MVP of that series? He had one MVP. Who was MVP Tony of that Tony Parker series? also had one MVP. No, but who was MVP of that series? Of which series? That Kawhi played in. Again, he played in. He only played one. in. No. With San Antonio. He won only one. two. He lost what? No, he only played one. <laughs> what are you talking about? He only played in one. He only played in one. How did he only? He's won two with the Spurs. No, he? It, no. He wasn't in that first one with the Spurs. Okay, well, he also lost one with the Spurs. When? When he lost to Miami. The one he didn't play in? So the one he lost to Miami, he didn't play in? No, he was hurt. Okay, that's fine. We know Kawhi Leonard is 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 the greatest small forward of all time. No, Michael that would Jordan. Be, that would Michael be Jordan LeBron. is the greatest. That would be LeBron, the greatest LeBron. small forward of all time. See, but when you start talking about people like LeBron, what position does he really play? Thank you. Know I mean? He plays the three. Yeah, I mean that's just because. That's why you just call him the when you put the starting time. lineup up there. You have to have a one, a two, and a three, and a four, and a five. He plays three. He has the three. But he pretty much brings the ball up the that's floor. What, what that, so does that Pippen. mean? Yes, he did. He he did. He did. He did. He did. All Pippen did was pass it to the big man and starts the triangle off. Mm-hmm. All LeBron does is come down and runs a pick and roll and then dives in the league, brings it back out and runs the whole offense, finds the open man, kicks it out, gets the diamond, runs back. Oh, man, out. Pippen played defense, too. LeBron played, played yeah, defense. No, was excellent. Jordan played defense. Was I get better, Kobe better played Kawhi defense. But just think so, about the pressure that Pippen took off of Jordan. Exactly. Defending the best player on the other team. Uh, that is exactly what Pippen did. That's what he did. Pippen uh, traveled. And then when they got Ron Harper, guess what Ron Harper did? He picked up the second best Thank player you. on the team. Which means Jordan couldn't do no. All he had to do was All drop thirty eight, baby. Score. Drop thirty eight. I mean, he 38. built his team perfectly. Do not get me wrong. The man was a genius as far as building his team. <laughs> Who? Jordan? No, he's, yes, yes, he, he was. was he's another one who that team. Team. You say all he was the only was, one who saw. Okay, we can get Dennis. Team? He did not build. We can get Dennis. He, he didn't build that team. team? No, Who built he the team? did not no. build that team. Who? Phil built that team. Phil didn't build that team. It was the GM up there that built the team. Because if Jordan's a genius at building teams, his team would be better. had to get shipped out there, man. Charlotte would be better. To get shipped out yes, but see, that's evaluating how other out. players will play together. Talking about who will be best for me right. is a totally different thing. If I got, if I'm playing with peers and I go, oh no, nah, I would love to have him because he does this for me. Mm-hmm. You think he didn't look at Dennis Rodman and say, Dennis Rodman getting thirty rebounds a game? They wouldn't have picked up Dennis Rodman if Jordan didn't say it was okay. You mean to tell me he can give me the ball an additional thirty times? Jerry Krause didn't just say, hey, uh, I'm signing Dennis Rodman. I don't care what you say. Uh, he did. You gotta no, remember, he Michael That's Jordan. Always, Michael Jordan, Jordan, Jordan always took a pay cut too to make sure that his no, his team. No, he ain't always. Yeah, he was cut. the first union buster. That boy, because he uh, took those Jerry one Krause, year contracts. Jerry Cross was like, "I'm not paying you." No, no, he was. And he was like, "All right, I'll take it." He said that one time in '98 when Jordan left, when he retired. That's '98 after six world championships. Exactly. When he asked for thirty million a year, well, he was getting thirty a year. Krause just didn't think he was worth it after that. But exactly. the thing is that he was doing one-year contracts it's, when what he should have done was signed a twelve-year, thirty million dollar a year contract, which screwed it up for the other people in the league. He's another one of those Tom Brady type dudes who did the union busting. But you know, whatever. Yes. So we'll now move let's on. move on. So now, uh, while we're still on the NBA, of course the. Starters for the NBA All-Star team has been named since we were talking about several All-Stars and Hall of Famers. Yes, it was. The starters of the NBA All-Star game were named. Coming out of the East, you have Embiid at the five. uh, Giannis. Giannis at the three. Siakam at the four. Kimba Walker and Trey Young in the backcourt. With Giannis being the 
captain. And are they picking teams again? Yeah, they are. So then we don't know what they're going to be. Well, I'm just, that's what's the starting yeah. five of the East. And out the West. Out is... the West, you have who, James Harden. Who, who, say it again. I'm sorry. Say that name again. The man is an all star. Oh. I'm like sitting there saying, listen, I, I don't know why you keep. Trying James to, I don't know why you hater. keep trying to change the narrative into something else. I'm saying that James Harden cannot win a championship, and he will not play the way that he plays. Okay. He will not. Did not say that he's not an all-star. Did not say that he's not going to be a Hall of Famer. Didn't say any of that. He will not be a Definitely champion. Be a Hall Plus, Prime. the NBA All-Star starting five is the popularity contest anyway. And, and always has been, always will be. So, have James Harden. Votes, and I also have the You also have Luka Dantich. At the back court, in the front court, you have uh, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, Anthony Davis, and Kawhi, and, and Kawhi Leonard with an H. If you're googling, so uh, that is the NBA starters, NBA All Star Game starters, and like DRC just mentioned, uh, the team captain for the West is LeBron James, which means they get to pick Go. their teams. So even though they were named starters in their respective conferences, they get to pick their teams, meaning uh, Anthony Davis may not play with LeBron James. LeBron James might decide to pick Giannis. Oh, well, no, he can't pick Giannis because Giannis is the team captain. He, he might decide Joel. to pick Embiid. Right. He might decide to pick Joel Embiid or um, uh, vice versa. Uh, Giannis might decide to pick Kawhi Leonard or, you know, it can be in any order. Um, so now, Diaz and you and I were talking about the starter, starters yesterday, and you said you have an issue with the East starters. What is your issue, sir? Um, <laughs> took a deep breath. Because <laughs> I want to see how I want to. I don't. I was going to try to say Pascal Siakam. Mm-hmm. You got an issue with Pascal Siakam. I mean, not an issue because I I believe he is going to be a star. Um, but I don't know if he necessarily should have been, you know what I'm saying? The, I don't know if he's the best four or three guy out there. You just got to be the most popular with the And fans. that's the thing. And that puts me at the, basically, it seems to me like it was the Canadian thing. A Canadian or yeah. a Canada? Uh, them too. You know what I'm Pascal Siakam is having a very good a year. A very good year. Very I'm gonna say who's good year. The only, only people better than is already starting. Well, coming out the East? Uh, yeah. I mean, what's I mean Giannis, he's right. The only other person playing better than him is Giannis. And you know you got to put Giannis in there. So who else, who's better than He's probably MVP, than Siakam? if not Kobe Bryant. I mean, Jimmy Butler's Lord, better than if not, Siakam. Yeah, Jimmy Butler plays the two. Jimmy Butler plays the three. Jimmy but, Butler plays. I don't know what he plays in Miami. And Jimmy I'm Butler is. Either way, um, who has the let, better record? Do they let people in Africa vote? Well, you know who who has the better record? It might be an Africa thing too. Do they who, let, who has the better record? They got NBA Africa. They let That's people in Africa possible. vote, so it's probably an Africa thing and a Canada. It's a whole Canada world thing. thing. A whole country behind us, so the whole, uh, a whole continent and a whole country. How do you think Yao got in there? Well, yeah, Yao got in there because of China. Even, you know, Yao was literally everybody knew what that was. And so, but either even that. Jimmy Butler is not having a good a, a season that Siakam is having. And who has the better record? I believe Toronto's in the top three. So Toronto's a better team. Toronto just won the ship. And yes, the greatest three guard of all time, the greatest four, small forward of all time. That left. left. Okay, according to y'all. No. <laughs> I didn't say he was the greatest small forward. I said, I I said LeBron the is the greatest small forward. But okay, so. But he does. Kawhi does play like Dr. J in my eyes. So Jason Tatum, Jason Tatum's having a better season than him. How is that disrespectful to Dr. J? Because folks be sleeping on Dr. J because Dr. J only Dr. J is a true victim of not being seen by the masses. And Dr. J is oh my god. Dr. J only won one NBA final. Extremely un exactly extremely underrated. I just, extremely I don't, underrated. I don't underrate Dr. J. Dr. J was the best basketball player before Jordan. 
You're right. Dr. J only won one championship, but it's certainly he was always in contention. He lost in 77. He lost in 79. He lost in 81. He lost in... Uh, How you going to lose in 79 82. when the best player uh, wasn't playing? Who was the best player? Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Because he came across the next uh, player. Nah, Johnson. you the best player. You can't lose that. What and a rookie. That's 20 you can't 20, lose 20, to a rookie. A You've been in the league for a while already. Man, stop it. So, uh, you telling me that... Mag- I mean, you telling me that a Magic Johnson rookie, a Magic Johnson rookie, a a a Wilkes was my ma- Jamal Wilkes and and a uh, 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 Kareem Abdul Jabbar Lakers team play. was not better than he a Dr. J, uh, uh, he was Charles playing. Jones. Uh, uh, who else was on that eighty? I mean, seventy nine team. Um, he wasn't uh, playing. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar didn't play those last He only last didn't play the last two games. That means they Guess only won one. Guess what he one. did? He dominated they, the first four. But they were at what? Two and two? No. If they only... If they he were play- up... No, they were up three, two. Kareem got hurt in game six, matter of fact. He got hurt in game six. He didn't play in game seven. And for the... He didn't play all of game six. Who didn't play all of game Kareem. six? He didn't play in all game six. Right. He didn't play all, but I, if I remember correctly, that game was already in control. Listen, man. Listen. Which makes my point even better. What is your point? What that, is your point? That Kawhi plays like Dr. J, like but he has more rings. No, that's so the, the okay. Well, that's fine. That's how you feel. That's fine. A, that's fine. So he's two games ahead. D, I'm still waiting on Who? you, D. Uh, are you? Who? I mean, you were well, trying hey, to get your stats in order. I, no, and I, I, wanted to, I, was, I was letting y'all finish. What's so, up? Jason Tatum should be on there above Siakam. That's oh, you definitely. Why? You because Jason mind. Tatum is a better player. You only say that because he's a Duke player. Stop it. Went to an excellent college, but I was not taking that into account. <laughs> he don't even count as going to an excellent college. He's a better player, but no. Siakam's he, got better Siakam's numbers got in better. every category except for games played. And and, and and free throw percentage. And, and what's attempts? We didn't look at the attempts. Attempts? <laughs> what you talking about? Yeah. This boy say out. attempts. That's how Siakam you go. Is the, Siakam is the person. He's the Kawhi Dude. Leonard. Guess He's the scorer. He's guess, the fan fleet. Hey, There's the two people that shoot on the, the team. All guess I know is Siakam Guess who the Boston representative as the starter is? But he is guess two him, games ahead Kimber of Walker. Boston. <laughs> huh? Kimber Walker. Guess who the starter for the Boston Celtics is? Yes. And that's all they need to know. Kimber Walker should be there. Uh, what? Kimber Walker he, is the squad. That's what I'm saying. Diaz is tripping this year. I don't know what that's about. He's saying Kimber shouldn't be there. And Siakam is their shouldn't be there. squad. If Kimber doesn't play, Boston is trash. I mean, don't get me wrong. Tatum is Bill. playing well. Who? Bradley Bill is a two guard. Zach Levine has mm. looked excellent. Mm. Yeah, but Bradley none of them be a. Better story. Zach Levine's look excellent against terrible teams. Again, they, 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 wait, wait, wait. They still have Zach opportunities to be all stars. Everybody. Zach Levine probably averages more. Stop it. More than who? Than Kemba Walker. No. Zach Levine's the only one that shoots on his team as well. Lies. And they are terrible. Gentlemen, gentlemen. They still have opportunities to be all stars. They just are not named a starter. And that's where I was going if you would have. Basically, the man's up there for the, the world vote. The country was behind him. He deserves to be a starter, DRC. Stop it. So you just said he deserved. See, Akam deserves to be a starter. He definitely deserves to be a starter more than Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum, Jimmy Butler. What about him? Who do I want over him? No, I'm saying I would have put both of them. I would have put Jimmy Butler in front of Jason Tatum, and I would have put Jason Tatum in front of Shaq. But that's just me. That's my voting. That's how I did my ballot. Right. Guess what? Yo, they I'll looked at Joe Valley. Valley. They I'll looked at Joe Valley and did this. No, yeah. they did not. <laughs> my number one. Look, I voted for Siakam, so I don't know what you're talking about. 113,000 more people voted for Siakam, so I don't know. I don't know if that's all Canada. A uh, million uh, people uh, voted for A lot of it Dom. is, but a lot more people know his name. I'm sure people from Philly voted. Because they know his name. Like you said, Africa might have had a play in Miami, that. Miami, really? Yeah. What? 
Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you, what are you going with? Where are you going? Everybody has Don't you be disrespectful. And Africa has to do something because Bam out of bio number seven. Have y'all ever seen the. I think MB got a lot of Africa. Have y'all ever seen the NBA African stuff? Because I have. Yes. What are you saying? What are you saying? Ain't too many of our people there. Oh, well, who's there, Nicola? Who is there? Not too many people, period. <laughs> <laughs> when I look, Shout out this, to guy, NBA this guy, this guy. Appreciate guy. y'all. Y'all have treated us well. Well, I'm just saying. Years. Keep pushing them through. Yeah, right? I mean, but where do they have the games at? And then you got people who are priced out. And That's it, what I'm saying. It's, it's a whole lot going on. But like I said, everybody's got a cell phone. No, really? Yeah, they do. Africa's got a bunch of cell phones. And they still got satellites and cable and mm-hmm. all of that stuff out there. Don't you sit up there and be a victim of propaganda. Man, I'm got to think of these folk saying. out here living in I'm deserts and jungles. I'm just saying. Your boy Akon just gave. Jungles got cell phones. <laughs> <That's not laughs> your boy Akon just gave a million plus people <laughs> electricity. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and there are over a billion people in Africa. No, I know. Okay. So. I'm just. In 2019 to 20, Akon just gave a million people. Yes, there's still a lot of Africa that is underdeveloped, but do not go sit here and act like they don't the have same way no with a lot of Asia. civilization of technology. The same and, way with and, a lot of Asia. And a lot of infrastructure. A lot of, a lot of places, yes. Like they don't have infrastructure and infrastructure. Like, stop it. Stop it. Uh, you stop it. I didn't say that. I said there's a lot that don't. Okay. But you, but you're implying that so they can't vote. For no, the I'm just saying. Game. I'm just saying. When we say the whole continent of well, Africa, of course that is a bit of hyperbole. Of course, the whole country of Africa no, may continent. not have voted. Continent, wow. the whole continent of Africa may not have voted. I mean, even that wasn't even. A, that's not even what ten percent. That's like one percent of what Africa. <laughs> what about <laughs> that voted? Dude, fifty I mean, percent. Yes, if, I know, but that's if you got one percent of Africa voting out of a billion and a half people, that's a lot of <laughs> that's people. That's quite a few people. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta oh, look at the man. number. Fifty yes, percent of Africans still, have mobile phones, and he still fifty percent of Africa. One percent of Africa would have made him the number one vote. Yes, Apps sure. Africa reports mobile app downloads will reach ninety eight billion. Oh wow! Like, everybody has a cell phone, literally, like. Like the, like the homeless people here in America, guys, like they got government cell phones. A, a cell phone. Yeah, they got government cell phones. Anyway, I'm just saying. They don't have water. They one percent would make him the number one vote getter. So, with your issues with the starters, are you not going to watch the All Star game? Come on, kid. No, you, you're crazy. I'm gonna watch the hell out oh. of the All Star. Oh, okay, okay. I'm, I'm probably not gonna watch, gonna watch the slam dunk contest. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll watch three check all that out. Even I'm disappointed every year. Might watch the. Wait, you've been you've been disappointed lately? What? With the 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 All Star weekends, they've actually been pretty I mean, entertaining. Yeah, I mean they're all right. I have less tolerance for them these days. I have can less. I, can I, can cool. I, I'm sorry. Can I interject real quick? Of course. Taco Fall had 110,000 people vote for him to be. So where you think those votes coming from? I know where they from. <laughs> <laughs> where they come from? Boston, because that's who he plays for. He has they more certainly votes. not coming from Orlando. They, they have they have more. He has more votes than your boy Tatum. He does not. Where have where's Duke at? Where are all these Duke people at? Yeah, he doesn't have more votes than Tatum, but yeah, he he he, he, he did well. I mean, I'm just saying, Taco Fall. He's a very Fall. popular player. He's a very popular player. Very popular. Does he play? Player. Okay. Well, he's a Go popular ahead, guy. I just want the energy. Actually, Taco like averages like 16 minutes. Uh, wow. 16 hots. Taco. Go ahead, Taco. No, no disrespect to Taco. The I show sounded like, like you disrespecting like Taco. The show right. sounded like it. When that 7 6 come crashing on you, then. Hey, anyway. Man. So now, stick, staying, with, staying with basketball, we go down to the college ranks. And I don't know if y'all, well, I know y'all saw it, but I'm talking to our listeners, of course, they had a gigantic brawl. I don't know about gigantic. It was, what do you mean? That thing was gigantic. It was bench nah. clearing. I Everybody just, was there. So which means clearing. that's a pretty big brawl. Yeah. Hey, what you want the, the crowd to be involved? Uh, the, hey, the, fan the, chili, look, the cheerleaders were I, in it. I, I, I was mm-hmm. surprised it wasn't the Malice anyway. in the Palace. No, nah, man, please. Them kids know better. They can actually get kicked out of school. That ain't like in, in the professional ranks where uh, the most you can get is arrested and, play, and bond. 
You got yeah, folk in there kicked out who of got loans. The rest of the exactly. Well, I'm saying you got folks who got yeah. loans, and 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 if they get kept, that's a whole. That's man. That's a horse of another cup. Actually, anyway, them people that's in that and Fog Field House ain't got loans. So yes, there was. Oh God, you are such a okay. Anyway, you just stereotype everybody. Huh? You just boy, you something else. Anyway, uh, there I was lying? a gigantic brawl between. They surely don't go to football games. The Kansas State. So well, why would you? <laughs> There's really not a good reason to go to a Kansas Less miles, game. baby. Less miles. A yeah, Kansas between the Kansas State Wildcats and the Kansas Jayhawks. Oh, what night was that? I don't even know what night that was. Tuesday Wednesday. night. Wednesday night. Tuesday night. Yeah. Tuesday night. Um, it, towards the end of the game, uh, it was Kansas the, had. It was the end. Kansas had control, and in fact, they were in the the last seconds of the game. When one of the Kansas State players stupidly, stole, stupidly. after the coach specifically told him not to, <laughs> stole but, but the ball. Stole it. Do you know anything about that guy? Because I was thinking, well, maybe you know he might be a walk on. Ain't got no stats. He told I his grandma to watch the him, game. The he wants his stats to be I, on I mean, I th- NCAA I, basketball records. I imagine <laughs> Kansas State players were Coach talking was a little high. noise, and he was upset that they were losing and that they lost so handedly. And I man, he just wanted to get up. one, uh, one more, uh, in yeah, there. Yeah, but that ain't how you do that. So in the in the reigning second, in yeah, the DeJuan ending Gordon. seconds, while Kansas was dribbling out the ball, of uh, dribbling out the clock, uh, the Kansas State player yeah, stole the, the ball right and then attempted to slam it at the end of the game. Well, well he thought he was gonna right. slam it, but old boy Kansas was like, player, no, you're not. Kansas player what's his first name? I don't know his first name, but Sousa. Uh, Silvio Silvio De Sousa Violently He Brazilian Violently blocked his attempt at the dunk Then stood over And then stood over him Which of course then enraged the Kansas State players And so the brawl then ensued That proves That says a lot So while they were While the brawl was Uh Ignited, um, of course, it spilled into the fan, into into the stands. Uh, you had uh, media persons and cheerleaders and all type of people. And the section they were at was also the handicap section. Being trampled, <laughs> uh, and, and in the in, in, while brawling, De Sousa picked up a chair. But did not talk. And acted well, as if, coach as acted as it, if, right? I, well, actually, I, I, a cameraman, a cameraman, a cameraman, cameraman grabbed it first, like yeah. no. no, and then I think he thought about it and then dropped the chair. Down. But uh, he picked up a chair and attempt to strike because I you like don't know that who word. he was going to strike now nah, with the chair, and so as a result, he has been suspended the remainder of the season. Mm. Uh, and uh, one of the Kansas State Kansas State players was suspended for eight games. Uh, another Kansas player was suspended for what was it two? So and the Sousa, the Sil- Silvio uh, De Sosa has the harshest punishment with a twelve game suspension. Uh, David McCormick, the, uh, another Kansas Jayhawk, was suspended for two games. Um, Kansas State players James Love and Antonio which was the one Gordon. off the bench. Oh, the Sousa's <laughs> ain't going. Received bans for eight and three games respectively. Yeah. That dude, they got the eight. Yes, he's the one that wasn't even playing. Yeah, he was like, fighting. I don't know, red shirt or a freshman <laughs> yeah. or something hurt something. Just came off the, off the thing fighting. But it's interesting here about the, in the story. It says De Sosa uh, was a top forty national recruit. Uh, only played nine minutes per game this season, though, so it's not really. Yeah, he's Angolan, so he's people, raw. But he's African, too. <laughs> top 40 recruit, big time guy, so yeah. he'll be coming back, I'm assuming. Um, they say that neither Love or Gordon are being suspended. Will play a role in Kansas State's plan. So, now, forward. so Gordon got suspended as well. Yeah, of course. He started it. Amal. Yeah, but all he did was just get his stuff beat. No, but but no. But, but look, and got mad when the dude put. There's the, no the, he the one no, laid on the he ground. Didn't. He his laid teammate. on the ground. Yeah, the Souza stepped came. over him. I know. And, and 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 the Kansas State team then got right. charged. The Souza. Yes. 
I mean, I don't know about stepped over him. Nah, no, he, no, he, he stood, stood over him. Put him in your face. Put, put him in your face. He stood over him. Yes, very menacingly, which is everybody knows what talking that means. Talking down. Right. You, you he didn't just stand him. over him. He was talking. Yeah, and he, he was, was also, talking, yes, too. He yeah, was. something you can't My do. thing is, it was real weak because this year, Mammoth did the same thing and boy banged on him. Who was Mammoth? Monmouth University. Oh, yes. that's school. In uh, New <laughs> that's Jersey. That's his name of the play. I'm like, who? Monmouth. <laughs> uh-huh. Did the same thing and banged on him. And boy was running down the court like, I don't give a bleep. I don't give a well, bleep. Well, I think that's why his reaction was different this time. Because nah, he didn't right. want it to nah, happen a second time. Nah. There appears to be two Gordons involved in the incident for Kansas State. Which so means the one that, is, that originally got the steal was a Devin Gordon. Okay. Um, he is not suspended. Antonio Gordon uh, was involved DeJuan in the Gordon. fracas. Yeah, DeJuan Gordon DeJuan was the one who stole it. Okay, yeah. it was the one who stole it. Antonio Gordon was the one that, uh, involved in the fight. Yeah. And that's the one that got suspended. And DeJuan's a freshman, you know, he... he uh, I guess that's where the laps came. Freshman from Chicago. Yeah, that may have something to do with that it. That might too. have a lot to do with it. But but what was your question going to be for So me? my question for you, you being a referee, you mm -hmm. being our house referee. You're right. As a referee, do you yes, not see boss. that as – I'm not, the house, house referee. referee better than the field <laughs> referee. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. I was thinking this. I'm sure Leo's. <laughs> you be quiet. Mm-hmm. I mean, well, you would definitely be in the house. You wouldn't be in the field. I but anyway, say, he would definitely be like, in the house. Right, and then he get kicked out of the house into the field where he'd have a very hard like time. Jeffrey? Away. As a referee, like I Jeffrey? was watching the Catcher Freeman episode. There. Nah, you don't, you no, don't, not like Jeffrey. Let him in the house. But what happened? You don't see that escalating. Is there anything that you can really no, do to keep that, that from. Only from the well, 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 yeah. You can separate uh, the players. During the game. Um, I'm pretty sure they saw some contentious things going right. on, which I've seen several times too. What you hate is for a player to do something like that with seconds left. In in certain games, you're just like, let's just get this over with. <laughs> and you you, I've even gone to coaches and be like, coach, can y'all just dribble the air out the ball? This this is getting stupid. Okay. <laughs> I mean, dude, right. but when he blocks tell the your ball. players, but 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 I've also seen where the coach is like, no shot, no shot, and some goofball. <laughs> Just decides to shoot a jumper from NBA range. Just happened to me the other night in the game out in Fort Bend. Thank God the kid missed it because the other – I mean, it was a very contentious game between – I'm not going to say rivals, but they're district rivals. And one team got the best of the other. And <laughs> this kid came down. Coach was like, no shot. And then they waiting, and then his, his, the players on the bench are like, shoot it. Oh. <laughs> And he shoots it, he bed. misses was it, but I'm like, yo, yeah, what? it was the winning team. Mm. Yes, it was the winning team, the team that won by about 25. I'm saying, though, but when, when uh, De, De Sosa blocks the shot and the, and the, and the horn goes off. The horn didn't go off because they actually had to inbound the ball yeah, and run had, off they some seconds. Everybody right. had, they brought everybody. They brought everybody. And when, I, when all one, of it was one second left, I thought it was absurd. like, I thought it was like point. No, it was yeah. Yeah. one second left. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. One exact. So, if, it, if it happened like at the buzzer, are you running off the court? No, uh, I mean no, because I, the, I bet he ain't getting in the middle of it. No, 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 I'm not because I've, I and 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 those reps actually did go get in the yeah. middle of it, but those reps are getting 2,500 a game, so okay, <laughs> I can see them. <laughs> and maybe that's a part of your job. It's a part of the job. <laughs> so you're not getting in the reps. No. Well, first off, we're not allowed to touch the kids. Well, I didn't see any refs touch anybody. Well, no, oh, it, the there were some in refs there, in there like, in, in, in the mix. It's a picture of a ref. Looking like a face all distorted yeah. and everything because people is punching around them. Dude is sitting there getting punched and everybody's in the stands behind him. It's a lot of little steel pitches as well that, that, that are from the front. See, when you have a blowout game like that in the waning seconds and the winning well, team that. has the ball, okay, everybody's just ready to get that over with. All right. Including the refs. That thing escalated so quickly. That was very quick. You're right. Okay, there's nothing because the refs Because like you said, that done. literally – in a span of about three seconds, it went from the game being over yeah. to a brawl going on. To the Royal Rumble. I mean, but that, that's, that's that K State. That's Manhattan versus that's Lawrence. That's a major man. rivalry. That's a major rivalry I mean, in that yeah, state. I mean, what yeah, is Manhattan yeah, versus it is, Lawrence? It is. It's a major rivalry in Kansas. But, I mean, at the end of the day, Kansas State hadn't won much. 
Yeah. So, I mean, it, it's a rock. Didn't they win last Pearl. year? No. They won last year. No, Bruce year. Pearl is their coach now. Huh? No. no uh, Martin. What's his name? Something Martin. Francisco. Anyway. Yeah. South Carolina but, uh, coach. Yeah. Francisco Martin. But as a referee, when that pops off, man, there's nothing you can do. Uh, you know, there's nothing you can do. You just got to let the, the police and the administrators get involved on that one. <laughs> you know, um, but, but you tried to tell the players to calm down during the game. I'm sure there was a lot of jabbering going on. They still uh, say I didn't hear what you're saying, game. man. You don't understand. Yeah, man, boy, and see, understand. And, and, and see, with D'Souza, you would hope that cooler heads would prevail. I think would have been even because cooler. Because I'm honest, he he really didn't engage in that. Well, yeah, he instigated him standing over the boy. He was but stomping. But once they charged him, who was that stomping though? That was corner. somebody else. That, that was, was like Ezekiel. Dude. Yeah, that was exactly. the other dude. Ibique. When they charged him, he actually didn't. Yeah. He didn't engage in that. Because it was when old boy from of off them. the bench. Yeah. Because he saw a bunch. Came of them. swinging at him. You just would hope cooler heads. Would he was prevail. like, "Oh, you hurt." Because you know what kind of jerk I am. <laughs> I get you. This is the kind of jerk I am. Because this is what I would have done, and it would have pissed him Meaning off. Meaning as even a referee, or as a player, as a player. Okay. Okay. If they, if I had been D'Souza, I'd have blocked his shot and then went over there and extended my hand. That would have been better. And ass. said, good job. That would have been Kill better. Him with kindness. But then he'd have got no, a tech. He would have been so mad. If he'd have patted him on his butt, he'd have got a tech, right, D? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, but yeah, that, don't do that. Might have got a warrant for his arrest. Right? <laughs> yeah. That's what you go with. But that's asinine. Who just, exactly. who just got kicked out for that? Uh, Jay Crowder got yeah, Jay, his butt hit uh, got Tristan, Tristan Thompson. Thompson. Mm -hmm. Got Tristan Thompson ejected for, yeah. for slapping him on the butt, letting him know, man, it's over. We all right. Yeah, but you, like I said, you would hope cooler heads would prevail, man. Uh, and, that, and that's Manhattan been, Lawrence, man. There ain't no cooler heads on that. Yeah, but there have to be. I mean, I'm just saying, but that's Manhattan You know, Lawrence. but uh, I was talking to a coach yesterday at a tournament I was at who was a big Kansas fan, and she was like, well, Bill Self, we'll go get those thugs. So, wow. That's what she said. Bill Self will go get those thugs. Yeah. Wow. Whoa. So now you were that just to... mean black? No, no, no. I'm with you. No, I'm with you 100. <laughs> you were listening to the Garage Apartment. We are here each and every Sunday night. I mean the Morris Twins. Though. Uh, we actually have a. You're listening to an extended version of the Garage. Well, this apartment. is the new thing for the Garage. This is the new time slot. This you didn't want to announce that. Well, no, I didn't I'm sorry. just yet. Well, I let the cat out of the bag. For the, the next bag. two shows, we have uh, two hours. It's our soft opening. You no, know, if you come to from, from, you know. Look, man, I want y'all to get used to it. If you come to production meetings, you know stuff like I that. I want these people to get used to it. It's our soft opening. Yeah, I guess you could say that. But anyway, so you are listening to the extended version of the Garage Apartment. We are here each and every Sunday night. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check out our website, thegarageapt.com. You can also hit us up live at 832-20, no, that's not, that's my phone number, 4183-413-2013, again, that is 832-413-2013. So now another uh, 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 because of the brawl, because this was announced that same night. Because of the brawl, there was a story that went under the radar. Uh, University of I think it's Evansville. University. Thank you, Evansville University. Mm, Walter McCarty, coach Walter mm. McCarty, who 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 got who actually was one of the what is the. Upset had one of the biggest upsets uh, of the year. Yeah, defeating his, of the year, uh, defeating his that. alma mater. He was an excellent college uh, basketball player. The University yeah. of Kentucky in Kentucky earlier this year he was excellent. Has been excellent. terminated or released from yeah. the Evansville University due to Title IX. Well, no, that's let me not say that because that's not true. Due to more accusations coming out that he is sexually harassing women mm. on campus. Mm -hmm. um, as you, if those who don't know, Walter McCarty was a all American at the university of Kentucky. He led them, he and Anton Walker and others led the university of Kentucky to the national championship. And then he later became a coach at Evansville. And again, like I said, he went into Lexington this year and upset the number one ranked University of Kentucky, and now just a few weeks later, he is 
no longer coaching. So, yeah. fellas, what do we say about that? Just sad that certain people don't understand the climate that you're in today. Uh, and, you know, um, I wasn't there. I don't know exactly what he was doing, but evidently they had an investigation and there were enough <laughs> women, I uh, presume, since Jesus, I was gonna say Everville ain't that big. Who were uncomfortable? I mean, Is it the whole a, school? Right. Yeah, I mean, who University. doesn't recognize the six nine black coach of the I, basketball I'm saying, team? Who is he harassing? <laughs> the whole school? And this is Evansville. Indiana. Well, I mean, like there's you said, people. there it you know there's a very thin line, and like you said, knowing the climate of this today, is Indiana. It ain't like it's Kentucky. And well, that's right under Kentucky. Yeah, yeah that's right, right there. Yeah, oh, should I say right above Kentucky? It's not Lexington, uh, Kentucky women. Yeah, I mean, but they're close enough. But but I know what you mean. Yeah, but and, and like you said, but you have to be aware of the climate of today's. First, not to mention, first off, you shouldn't be no, doing yes. anything I mean, unwarranted. On Some guys people. are embarrassed. You shouldn't be forcing anything. And yeah, and and, and <laughs> you ever seen a guy just embarrassed? You're like, come on, man. Now, I'm telling you, I see it all the time. Uh, I see it all the time. Where was I? I was. I can't remember. Do you think where that's I was. gonna work? Oh, I told you, I had gone out with my wife to a place we frequent, and the dude, the old heads in that place. I was like. First off, how whack are you? You too old for that. Secondly, like, did that ever work? Has it worked? Like, dude, that is extremely in inappropriate. <laughs> you know, and I didn't look. I didn't have to say anything because old girl damn it checked his chin, so I didn't have to say a word. I was just like, dude, you couldn't have thought. You'd be surprised that that was going to work. Okay, so we might not know nothing about this for a while. And it doesn't sound like it's a rape or something like that. It sounds like it's a student that he just should not have had some sort of relationship. They, the only things that are of public record are that he did he, that they received reports of unwelcome conduct um, since his arrival, um, that they counseled him on his behavior at one point in time. And then that in the last two weeks, as of the story being written, the university received another troubling report. You know, stories like this always, I mean, I, I, I always want to see, I, I really want to see how this girl looked for him to throw it all away. Yeah. There are stories like this that popped up. Like I remember, Again, I say. It was a story a few <laughs> years back where there was this dentist in the Bronx who was, no, 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 no. He was a, a jeweler in New York. And he was well loved by everybody. Jacob? No, 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 not at all. He went to prison <laughs> for a different thing. But this guy was a jeweler, old man, had been in business 50 years, beloved by the community, did things for the community. Some 17-year-old girl walks in. He locks the door. That's how much. I'm like, what was it that switched about her? Like, all these years you ain't had nothing, but you decided to throw away everything for this girl. Who didn't want you in the first place, but you were willing to get rapey with her. And like Walter McCarty, who, who is this? Oh, I, I, got, I got to see what you threw yourself. You threw everything Man, away. She better be doing the it's the, it's the Because you're not going to get into the job, Walter McCarty. No, and Evansville is a private college, so it is not subject to public records request. Right. It's, okay. It's, it's the stimuli, man. The stimuli goes, man, you know. It's, it's... But for you to lose control of all your faculties and just throw it away. Like they already warned you. Right. They warned you. Well, and it was I don't know. I don't know if it was a a second occurrence or if it was just simply more accusations came out. If they no. warn you, no, they and they say, "Hey, man, stop we this." <laughs> right. We don't. But we don't know. I'm, what I'm saying is, we don't know if he then had a second occurrence with a, somebody after he was warned, or if while in their investigation they have learned of They're more like, accusations. Really? No, 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 no. no, no. Like, really, there was Walter? a warning. Then there was a continuation. Then there was an investigation. You wow. warn somebody so you don't have to do an investigation. You say, right. look, man, look, I don't want to be heard. I ain't I trying to write you up. All right. right? right. But, but you're, I will. you're doing well. <laughs> you're our <third> coach. <laughs> okay. Just chill out, okay? That's how that works. So uh, at this point, the only information shared with the public 
is that reports were made accusing McCarthy of misconduct and that the university not only counseled him about his behavior, or, yeah, that the university not only counseled him about his behavior, but they have also suspended him. Yeah, and being that it's a Title IX thing, so you got to think it's a student. Still, though, right? I'm sorry? He he's, still hasn't been fired, right? Yes. No, he's been fired. He's been officially yeah, fired He's now. been fired. That was he, It was announced the same night as the brawl, so nobody oh, talked about it because they were talking fight. about the brawl. Yeah, they had a fight, too. Yeah, so, yeah, man, that's... That's that's unfortunate. It's very unfortunate and 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 very sad because it it of course it happens too often. We're seeing it too often. But he did a good um, enough job. He has to sit out about five ten years, and he'll be able to come back. You think so? Yeah, yeah he'll be generation you know, go sixty. Oh, well. I mean, what's he gonna I mean, do in the meantime? Yeah, you can. I can tell you what he is gonna end up doing. He's gonna go back to Kentucky and be an assistant coach. Probably but he won't be a head. He won't be a head coach for now, some depending time. on uh, depending on what happens, because he might. Well, this is true. Dep <laughs> no, because he this might. This is assuming that you know. No, I'm saying because it might. He might not be able to work with kids. Period. Right. He might have to register as a sex offender. It's possible. I don't know. That would not be, not sex offender, but there that would be there's a, a strong for there's sexual a harassment. There's where if you get caught. I, uh, doing something, you just don't work with kids. You can't work with quick kids. You're not under as sex offender, but you're game. under. Yeah. Well, see, you can you actually get work prosecuted. Yeah. Game, to man. to be honest, even though the person might be of age, but it's just illegal for a person in authority yeah, a, to deal with a student. Yeah, and that's harassment. You know, student. that's that from whole major Applewhite thing. <laughs> that's from from my training. That whole major Applewhite thing. Being in a Texas. coach, you got to take those trainings. Yeah, man. Of so, what harassment is. I just like, dude, why would you throw it away? You're still an ex NBA player, right? You're you're still the head coach there in that small town. So everybody right? from Evansville. You could probably go get some up in Bloomington. And not but, to mention, especially <laughs> this year, after you have just put your school on the map. Yeah. You have made them a national a national story this year. Y'all were gonna go down as one of the top stories of 2019. Indianapolis. You can yeah, go I there. mean, just anywhere. I mean, you can go back up to New York. They remember you up there. Oh, I mean, if you really want to mess around, like, is bro, that's where he, ain't he from New York? Is he originally? Uh, probably is. I don't remember, but yeah, that's that's very sad. No, he was actually born in Evansville, Indiana. Oh, <laughs> That's what makes it so sad. Man. So that, so that means they know you. you. You can't even they go. Know you. I know your mama, man. That was somebody's. Yeah, <laughs> See, that was somebody. William Henry Harrison High School in Evansville, Louisiana. Uh, in Evansville, Indiana. Uh, that was somebody's uh, cousin or little niece. Mm -hmm. And he tripped that. Oh, Stupid. God, I hope not. He's like, dang, not. Nancy, you done grewed up, huh? Mm -hmm. Man, I hope I hope there's some. She's like good. Walter. I don't think you should talk to me like that. I hope there's some good come out of that story. He's like, I've been waiting <laughs> for both sides. <laughs> On both oh, sides, that's horrendous. Yeah, that's that's, that's like I'm gonna tell Uncle. Oh, uh, you know they know him. That's what's crazy. Yes, everybody they was like knows. Walter. I'm gonna tell Walter said that to you. I'm gonna tell yeah. Uncle, Uncle Prudence. He's you like, said Walter that. said that? Junebug said that to you? Exactly. <laughs> name, man. I wouldn't know oh, Junebug. That is ridiculous, man. Dude. He's like, Walter, uh, well, Walter, you know, Walter What McCartney. you gonna do? What you gonna do? I don't know. I don't know. So, uh, uh, switching gears, man, since we're talking about, because the crazy part is there's so much stuff that has happened in the recent weeks. Yeah, big week. Big weeks, big weeks. But while we're still on... Uh, questionable uh, associations. Huh. Uh, Ahmad, you brought nice up segue. that the New Orleans Saints. Yeah, embroiled in this whole Catholic Church. And exactly, and 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 they're I, trying to block the emails. I'm gonna have to defer to you because when I read this last night, I was like, "What?" Yeah. So, bringing folks up to speed, exactly. The owner of the New Orleans Saints is a devout Catholic, mm -hmm. and he has somehow he played. Is dead. She that's is a she. Dead. I'm sorry. Thank well, you. The thank you. Thank family. you. Yeah, he's the family. Family. people in Louisiana. Are, but yeah. he is gone. Thank you. The family. The <laughs> the family of the New Orleans. <laughs> the, the family who owns the New Orleans Saints. The wife. 
are devout Catholics, and somehow they are involved in. I'm not gonna say a cover up, but a no, 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 no. It's not a cover up. Right. I don't actually, want to mischaracterize yeah. it because it's not a cover up. Yeah, well, 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 now they're trying to cover up fight. how they help. Now, what it is is that um, uh, Miss B- Solicited. Mrs. Gail Benson um, was a very good, well, is very good friends with the uh, Archbishop of uh, the Archdiocese, I guess, of New Orleans. Mm-hmm. Uh, Gregory Amond is his name. And uh, what happened was they have, of course, a lot, like a lot of archdioceses, 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 <laughs> they have uh, um, uh, allegations of sexual abuse. And a lot of people have come forward about this particular archdiocese. And um, the archbishop actually reached out to the saints, uh, his friend Gail Benson, uh, for help for their, from their PR department. Not to stop touching people. No, no, no. But, but how do we handle... the PR department right. so that it don't look like... How do I'm we handle the public people. relations right. of when they start releasing these priests' names and Crazy. things? So they actually help because, you know, who's got better PR than uh, an entity like that who has to deal with all kinds of horrible things? Um, Which would make sense if it wasn't something so, so... So egregious and Right, horrible. egregious as... <sighs> and deplorable sexual assault and molestation, sex crimes, and in the all name of, those of the Lord. Natures. Oh my goodness! You know, it's just such a horrible thing. Like I think in that case, even if you're friends with somebody, if you're Gail Benson, you got to say, "Hey, man, look, here's a PR firm I know yeah, of. Maybe it's, talk it's, to them, but I'm not going to use no, my no. team's resources. I can't help you with this, man. I know you didn't do nothing, but it's hey, not you got to pay the, the cost to be the boss." It's- it's NFL resources. Well, yeah, but I mean, it's the team's PR machine. Because once the NFL machine. hears about it, they're yeah. going to be like, hold on. But it's the team's PR what? machine. And now, uh, when the tr- you know for the trial, they want to uh, get using... the emails to see how exactly the yeah, Saints Yeah, and this helped. is where the NFL... They already got the, for the trial, they got the right, They're trying to block discovery. the public release no, of they're, trying they're trying to release them. They're trying to release them so that right. we can see them. And which, that's what the court case Which they are publicly yeah, able to be released at that point. Released due to the current laws that they have, mm-hmm. but the fact the Saints that Saints are doing everything they can to block that. Yeah, because that's and because there must be some law. horrible decrimin. I mean, just incriminating things that they. Oh God, you gotta just. I mean, come on, man. You're you're a football team. Your whole thing is about family, and children, and all that type of stuff. You know, uh, how in the world could you get involved in this? Uh, in helping an entity like that, I don't care how good of friends you are and how devout a Catholic you are. This is just a, a disgusting thing for a team that's had a lot of issues. Well, I, well, in the yes, past. absolutely. And like you said, a lot of controversies. business, man, business. You say, I can't touch this with a 10 foot pole mm-hmm. on a personal basis. You say, like you said, I would love to help you, but listen, man, I cannot have any, I mean, like I'm gonna have somebody call you. any at interaction with this, sir. Because so, right. on CBS right now, the thing, the article, first line article says multiple members of the New Orleans Saints executive team assisted the Catholic Church with its messaging in the wake of a sexual abuse mm-hmm. scandal. That right there is why you say I can't test this. You know what I'm saying? So is this Shout something? Is this something punishable by the NFL? Yeah, probably is, man. Because and when you keep reading it. There's an oath, well, not oath, you sign as a, well, whatever it is, uh, as a owner, you can't do anything detrimental to to the NFL as a company. And they were using their NFL domains. It wasn't like just such and such at Saints, at New Orleans Saints. Yeah, because the com. NFL is officially a non-profit. <laughs> <laughs> it <laughs> was. Such and such and Didn't such. they give that up, though? No, that's no. the problem. Is that they can, they it was such and such and such at NFL.com. And so they're well, really... to be fair, the NFL, not the owners. What? Right. The NFL, yeah. not the owners. Right. So I the guess. NFL is still a non-profit. But not the owners. No, no, but they're part of the nonprofit. And they're not a nonprofit. They just have tax 
They, well, the NFL they're, they're, itself has tax exempt right. status. The NFL I'm pretty sure does. the owners and the teams play, pay taxes. Right, that's what I'm saying. Their the, franchises, it's, it's weird. I don't even understand how that works. That you got these, many of which are, I don't want to say that they're not publicly traded on NASDAQ or anything, but, you know, you can buy stock in a lot of these teams. So you can buy a piece the, of The release statement from the New Orleans So they're Saints. corporations, obviously. Right. The Archdiocese reached out to a number of community and civic-minded leaders seeking counsel mm -hmm. on handling the pending media attention that would come with the release of clergy names in November of 2018. And the Saints were the ones who bit. Greg <laughs> Bensel was contacted and offered input on how to work with the media. Mm -hmm. The advice was simple and never wavering, be direct, open, and fully transparent while making sure that all law enforcement agencies were alerted. That's fair. I think that's good advice. That, that is that fair. You can do. But, it sounds but, like something you would put in a statement no, that you're releasing in yeah, the public. Yeah, because if they're trying to block the emails, that's not what those emails said. Yes, that's not in those emails. That's not what those emails those email said. That's not in those emails. I would have no problem giving anybody that's that advice. That's perfect right there. <laughs> It's too perfect. You know, especially the part about be direct and be honest and transparent. <laughs> and make sure you call these laws, though. Make sure the law make sure the laws, the laws, the laws in the Like, doesn't that sound so reasonable? But you know if they're blocking the, like, if that's what the email said, I'd be like, yeah, here. Absolutely. In fact, yeah, maybe we can win some And here we go points. for that one. The same statement went on to say that the organization has no interest in concealing information from the press or the public. It merely it has merely requested the court to apply the normal rules of civic discovery of the documents that the Saints produce. If admitted new evidence of the case, the documents and the testimony pertaining to them will become part yeah, of the exactly. record. So I guess they're saying once the record the case is finished. Then they'll well, no. just go ahead and make them. They oh, surrendered saying, the documents. Yeah, they they're saying, they and I guess they figured they wouldn't be admitted into evidence. The, I thought it right. was saying. I thought it was saying if somebody discovers it, okay. No, no, no. What, but we ain't just gonna give them to you. No, 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 no. I mean, no, no, no. <laughs> That's what civic discovery is. No, 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 no. Civil, no, no, no. Civil discovery is where the, the prosecution, both lawyers, have to share. Like the prosecution has to share, or it wouldn't be. Share its evidence right. with the defense. With, and the, defense with the defense. Right. That's what discovery is. So right. the discovery Any new just evidence. means, yeah, like like what, the prosecution the can't come in and say, ha ha, we got yeah, this right. without the defense having been able to see the evidence. Right. That's what civil discovery is. Now, I anybody knows that once it is uh, uh, actually entered into evidence and on record in the trial, then it becomes public record because trials are public. Court trials are public. You can go on your dadgum. Uh, computer right now and just pull up what's going on in all kind of murder trials all over the country. Right, right, right. That's how people get people's paperwork. Right, <laughs> That's exactly. how people get Takashi's paperwork. <laughs> because it was entered <laughs> in public record. That's how you know if somebody is snitching or not. That's how you know if you hit that yard in prison, they already know. If you're behind toll on somebody or if you went down like a man. Oh, God. So, it, 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 it's a horrible thing and you hate that for the Saints and my two favorite Saints fans, you know. Yeah, what 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 are, what are their reactions to that? Uh, you know, they still love the Saints. It's like Drew Brees ain't doing. Like, who that? Who that? Who that? <laughs> <laughs> but Alvin Kamara ain't touched no boy. Was Jesus Deuce McAllister Christ. there? Oh, no. God. Okay. We all right. But it makes you ask. He's like Will like, Smith gone. Uh, I, I, it's not much I can do. Why is New Orleans seeming? Boy, they could just have a series of Orleans. bad luck. Yeah, it's New it's, Orleans. It's New Orleans. And just bad decisions made by people. It's New Orleans. That's, mm -hmm. I mean, New Orleans is a New crazy Orleans place. is a is a crazy place. <laughs> That's so dismissive. It, it, no, it's not dismissive. It's the truth. I mean, Louisiana got different laws from everybody. This is true. I mean, everything you is, can't drink at eighteen. Well, anymore. no, not anymore. Not anymore. Okay. No, no, no. Because you know they said, well, if you keep letting people drink at eighteen, we're not going to see none of this federal money. Uh, and they were like, you know what, twenty one. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty one, it is. Thank mm -hmm. you, thank you. But they but, still, but they still sell Jack Daniels out of Eckers, though. Yeah, Walgreens. Well, not <laughs> Eckers. <laughs> they still got drive through daiquiri shops. Although that has made its they way got down here to Texas. I gonna say that has made its way down. To Even Texas. though they're supposed to be wine based, if they're in the city, <laughs> they so ran like by people from the wines. Yeah. Yes, indeed. It's a million of them things opening up to them daiquiri shops. They got everywhere. one right by. They the all house. say New Orleans. Got one right by the, the house. Right the one by the house is called the Daiquiri Shack. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. They all over the place, man. But Giving yes, people indeed. headaches with that mess. Oh, uh, <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, I, I look. I have not. Not even real alcohol. I have not desired. I mean, it is, but it is. What I it have is. not desired to go over there. Yeah, man. But you know, bad thing for the Saints. Uh, hopefully, it works out. You know, it works out. Meaning what? What has worked out in this situation? Works out in this situation is hopefully their email said what that statement said. <laughs> <laughs> and then what? I was gonna say worked out is just everything. And what that boy Drew like Brees? That. I heard that boy Drew Brees was kicking it with the uh, with the president. Yeah. Oh, I He's thought you were gonna say fan. the priest. I was gonna say, oh my god, I what? I'd be surprised if he was a MAGA guy. Uh, yeah, they was. No, yeah, he, he could be. I mean, he's he a MAGA. They say he's he from man. Austin. Yeah. yeah. Ain't he supposed to be weird? And from Westlake. So Westlake Hills. So. Ain't he supposed to be weird? Yeah, Which means was weird. weird. He cut that Keep mole Austin off his weird. face to make it look oh, like Well, now nah, he's yes, not one of the weird ones. He's one of the He's not one of the liberal weird ones? Nah, he's a Westlake. She Westlake she Hills kid, man. That's I, don't the, know, I don't know about it. From that's the money. Catholic okay. high school. Whatever. That's what? money, people. That's, you live off Lake Travis. I don't know about it. You live on Westlake. And you don't just live there. His mom was a lawyer, you know? So, nah, he's not a singer-songwriter from Austin. He's not one of those kind of people. Mm. He's not a food truck owner. Nah. Austin, who Taco is decriminalizing man. marijuana, but the police chief in Austin says he's still going to arrest people for it. How is that? I did work? see that. I did see that. I did see that. That's asinine. It is asinine. <laughs> Put him on the list. Completely asinine. No, that goes on the do, list. I don't do Austin that much. You don't do nothing but Houston. You don't do Dallas. You don't mm -hmm. do. Definitely don't do Dallas. I do awesome. You don't do San Antonio. I do. San Antonio's all right. It's all right. It's all right. All right. All right. It's all right. It's all right. All right. The homies live in San Antonio. But straight off by there. That's all he want. He want, he want Houston and Houston and Houston. I mean, it's the greatest city. So now, fellas, we have come to. Oh, so let me just let the people know what you're listening to the Garage yeah, Apartment. Let's let them know that. We are here each and every Sunday night. Uh, you're listening to. I'm sorry, I keep saying this. The garage you're apartment. You're listening to an extended version. That two hours go just as quick as that one. Of the garage apartment. We are here each and every Sunday night. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel <laughs> and check out our website, thegarageapt.com. You can also hit us up. That. You can That's also hit us up live. They had to hire her. 832-413-2013. Hit us up, man. Let us know what you think. I mean, your reactions to the Kobe Bryant death. Yeah. Uh, R.I.P. Black Mom. Uh, your responses, your reactions to 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 the Saints, to Walter McCarty, to to to, to the All Star starters, anything. Uh, hit us up. Let us know what you want to talk about. <laughs> Well, you were really Almost offended. Starting on. You were really offended. No, the one you should be offended by is Caruso. I'm very offended by Caruso. <laughs> Caruso very almost being named the starter. I want to say he was the fourth highest vote getter as a guard um, over Westbrook, Kyrie <laughs> Irving, several other people. Crazy. So now, fellas, we didn't get a chance to discuss this on air because we were having, we were experiencing technical difficulties. But this seems to be a story that just will not die and continues to grow and and grow and grow. So now, the MLB cheating scandal and the Astros, the punishment and the things that they're of. Because now you have Crane demanding that players apologize and players still have not apologized, although Dallas Keuchel, Dallas, Keuchel, Dallas Keuchel has come out and apologized. And he's not a player anymore. And then Dallas and then, Keuchel don't play for the Astros. And then you got BAN Mike Fires. <laughs> Mike Fires. Fires actually set up a press conference at the A's Fan Fest say he is going to discuss things and clear the air. And then when asked a question about the scandal, then said, well, I'm only going to answer baseball questions. Really? I don't want to oh, talk yes. about the past. Mike Fires. And I was like, boy, see. He somebody my... got to him, but he couldn't stand <laughs> it. It was too late, but somebody <laughs> got in his ear. I don't want to be a distraction to my team. It's all about getting ready for the season. Who's going to want to play with this guy? Nobody. And see, that's my, my position is this. Mike Fires is no hero. Fires. Fires. Mike Fires is no hero. In fact, he is the definition. He is the epitome of a snitch or a rat. Mm -hmm. a whistleblower. 
No, no, he's not no, a whistleblower. No, no. He's he a is snitch. a snitch. A whistleblower is somebody who learns of something being Ill- illegally being done and then alerts people to it. A snitch is somebody who participates in mm. the crime Edward and Snowden then is a whistleblower. <laughs> exactly. Edward Snowden saying, I'm not going to do this. Now, and Mike Fires, if he had come out in 2017 and said, exactly. hey, are we doing this? This is not right. I've, I don't tried, want my I've asked like them this. to stop. Yeah. They won't stop. So I'm going to go ahead and throw myself on the sword or sword, as the old folks say, mm-hmm. and let them know that, hey, we are cheating or we are getting gaining an, an, an advantage uh, uh, illegally. You want to know what Joe, uh, Joe Girardi says? What does Joe Girardi say? All sign stealing and all of this has been going on for years. I mean, it's been going on for years, and it's it's our responsibility to protect them. And uh, I know we will work really hard to protect every sign that we have and have different combinations and make pictures, use multiple you know sequencing to so we can protect them because it's it's you know a lot of times it's done by the players on the field, and you have to be really careful. So I don't really think much about it except what we have to do to protect you know why joe girardi said that because if you remember several a couple of years ago he and the boston red sox were caught doing this see people forget that because all they're focusing on are the astros right now because of the punishment eh. john smoke says the same thing basically says everybody that, said the same that thing. you should because it's on you Anybody who has played baseball knows, yes, sign stealing is a part of the game. It's called scouting. And I t- like I was saying, and I mean, again, many folks didn't get the chance to hear this conversation. Every other sport uses technology to gain an advantage over their opponent. It's called film study. It is. My one Football, thing was- soccer, mm-hmm. boxing, basketball, they all... Watch film. See, but but, but when okay. you illegally film something that they are specific, that they have specifically told you right. not to film, that's when you get in trouble. That's when the Patriots got in trouble. Well, that's actually, what the issue is, like if they had two cameras in, in center field for each you team to steal just, signs, that'd be different. The, yes, but see, or this is my just thing. Using the ESPN feed and doing but it that, that way. Okay, that but was that's my point. Not live. That's not centered so, on but, but that so, one again, thing. That's my point. Because that, that supposedly the real issue is they use technology to gain an advantage. It's no different than if I watch a replay of the game tonight. No, it is. No, it's, it's not. Because on ESPN, on ESPN, every action that they're called, every play. Uh, on ESPN, they zoom in on the signals of the catcher. They do. So now what Joe Girardi is saying is what any athlete who has sense would say, switch up the sign. Quite mm-hmm. clearly. But that does not absolve one from cheating. So if I it's not am cheating. wrong from doing what I am doing, you can still be wrong for doing what you're doing. It's not cheating. It is cheating when they're using a designated camera for it. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. It's the same thing with the Patriots. It's the same thing with any other entity that has told you not to look at this and you specifically look at this. Because it's an unfair advantage if, like like I said. This if, is why if, high if, schools close yeah. their practices. If both teams had cameras in center field and everybody knew who was sitting here stealing signs, then that's one thing. But when you surreptitiously put a, a camera so in you center telling field me, or whatever these people are saying, doing. The whole reason the for so? making adjustments, that's what the game is. Your opponent is trying to figure out what you're doing, and you make adjustments. See, but football has uh, embraced this because you see them with the with the printouts. And you see over. coaches do what? Cover but their they don't mouth. Get video, sir. They can't get video. Why do you think? The why game, do you think? Right? The That's mic- the rule. Well, what's the, well, they you, have but, to get still shots. But you can shots. get stills, and you, you got get the pictures. And plus, remember, we get the Microsoft Surface all the time. You time out. <laughs> and even then, so you they, can't uh, have a camera. They, in why the do you, Why do you think? that coaches cover their mouth when they are calling plays. You don't think that they know that cameras are being zoomed mm-hmm. in on them and and it, if they if they leave their mouth exposed that people aren't going to be able to know exactly what play is being called. Yes, they do. But if you're watching the ESPN game, you're seeing that five times. 
You cannot gather a pattern from five occurrences. If you're doing a ca if you have the camera specifically on the coach's mouth, every play is called. That's something different. We're not seeing that. They're not giving that angle to everybody. The well, they cut to it when they want to cut to it, and that's what the ESPN feed is for that know? reason. Because we've been there. They there are cameras on each coach the whole time, and they cut to them. The but you also the have those. The but those cameras are also there. Was monitors that you can actually watch and watch the coach the whole time, and so, those are guys again, usually in the truck. Again. So they don't just move those cameras down. Not, no, say, I'm hey, saying, but no, I'm saying that you not, have to have that specific feed. You can't watch the national feed and get this type of information. That the sign stealing, if you will. Okay, now if you're on second base and you see the man from three whoa, different whoa, whoa, people, whoa, why you can't? That's what I'm because saying. Because you have to discern about? because they're not the same signs. They change signs. Don't exactly. Say. So how is it cheating? Because you change signs, you get the patterns of the signs. You get the patterns of what they're doing. No, they have, if you they have a sign, and then in the third inning, they have a not sign. If you change and then in the ninth inning, they on, have a on, sign. Because this is hold really on, about on. baseball. No, because yeah, well, yeah, it is because about baseball. Yeah, you think on. Omaha meant the same thing every time a Peyton Manning said it? Of course not. No, but why can you not film their practice? Why can you? As We're not you talking about film not, practice. No, We're talking about allowed in the game. What, what, that no. is what we're talking about. What no, it comes down to is this. If it wasn't cheating, then... Uh, <laughs> then we're going to suspend the ball. No, 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 no. And, and after the game, A.J. Hinch would have no problem saying, yeah, well, you know, we did a great job of stealing signs today. We wouldn't destroy two TVs trying to stop. We had, we, you know, what we did do was we stole the hell out of some signs today. My question is, why are their <laughs> numbers better away than at home, then? Well, yeah. No, 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 look, 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 look. I'm not saying, saying that it helped. Because obviously everybody, like, like I said, Every, first off, I trust a man with 4,000 hits. And Pete Rose said it never helped him, so he never even wanted anybody to steal no signs for him. Right. So I trust that. I guarantee you this. If you know that Chapman is throwing 100 mile per hour fastball, you telling me knowing that it's coming is going to make you hit it faster? No, it's not. You got to catch 100 mile you per do, hour. But you knowing do. it's coming, is not. it's got to be better than not knowing, right? Because if you don't know and you sit on the curveball, then you look bad. You know you're not sitting on it. You know you're not that sitting on the changeup. You know it's the fastball. Hey, no. Hey. Baseball, it's the, okay. it's the choice. Is it a fastball? Is it a breaking okay, ball? But when there's no choice, remember, you don't think they can, out of the easy remember, that they remember, can identify the spins on no, the ball. Okay, but check me out. There's no identifying. You know it's coming. No, now check you me out. Is it two semi four exactly. How okay. fast is it going? Inside, outside. Ball strike. But check me out. Check I'm me out. I'm not saying it's easy. Check me out, though. It's easier. Check me out, though. If it was easy, why Carlos Correa no, couldn't do it? No, during he's not good. during oh, the playoff game, they said a bunch of teams said they were tipping their pitches. Mm -hmm. And then who was it? Washington got smart. One of the pitchers was like, "Yeah, I was tipping. Then I had to cover up my glove." I mean, my, my ball hand so they wouldn't see what I was throwing. Also, Damn. that same that same series did not the Washington Nationals do the exact same thing just on some pettiness stuff. They start banging on, on trash cans too, which made, yeah, which made Verlander think Washington that series. they knew what he was throwing, and which so rattled was throwing. him so much, he was highly ineffective in the mm -hmm. World Series this year. But so they were what not is, supposed so to be doing it. It's no different than psych it's it psychological warfare, which is all a part of competition. And that is exactly my point. The whole reason that you compete is to try to gain an advantage over your opponent. And if technology, it would be foolish in this day and age to not use technology to do that. Not to mention, Except this is not unprecedented because this was said to have happened in 1954 when the, when the New York Giants made their miraculous comeback to win the pennant over the Brooklyn Dodgers. They were said to have a camera in the stands still in signs. So all of a sudden, everybody is so outraged Which is behind crazy. this. Which right, is crazy. You would know because that was a big ass camera. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> you couldn't see that camera. Exactly. And then they said, "Dude had to wind wait, it." Wait, wait. But then, then your boy, like, you Jack, couldn't see that. Jack, Jack McDowell, McDowell said, "Said Tony La Russa, who was still doing coaches, it in Chicago, yeah. who still coaches." And like you said, since we snitching, we all who still know coaches. Where, where, about Oakland and the Bass Brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steroids. 
Like, come on, man. And it, so for, for these folk to be sitting up here crying and, and demanding that, that championships be vacated, stop it. Man. Yeah, well, but no it ain't cheating. cheating. There's no way that It ain't happen. cheating that you got two people hitting over 50 home runs on your team, though. Yeah, I mean, but I'm it, just going to I'm just going to say it like this. I hate they tarnished it Tell your with son such a bush not way to, to do, do something. And then find out your son specifically did exactly what you just told him not to do. That is the problem. Playing the sport, that I is don't the care. crux of the problem. Wait. You're saying use technology. I specifically told you don't videotape this. I told you don't videotape Who this. You turn around it. The commissioner well, no, the sent a member of Mo the out, sent out a member. prior to because they knew the Astros were stealing. And they told well, him. And that's knew, why the GM they knew got the fired. League the was league was doing it. was this. multiple AL10. That's why the GM got fired because the owner told him, look here, I don't know what's happening, but if this is going, you need to stop it. And that's when AJ Hens comes in here destroying televisions, trying to stop it. And then Alex Cor and Carlos Beltran and several others. Brought it right back and kept it going. So my one thing is that they were told not to. Mm -hmm. They were told not to, and they did it anyway. They did it anyway, and they shouldn't have had to. They shouldn't have had to, but they did it anyway. They didn't have to at all. So you're not going to give up the championship. That's absurd. Nobody would take that at all. But you need to pay the you you got to pay the piper. You do because you cheated and you got caught. Mm -hmm. So now the next question will be: Did you other really people? get caught? Cool. Yeah, did you, you get caught? caught? No. How did you get caught? Because, because, you, because you didn't pay Mike Fires and he left and he told. No, that's, that's not getting caught. Got caught. No, that's somebody telling. That no, ain't getting caught. Snitching. That is getting oh, caught. That's, that's how people get caught. That's, that's, that's how the police catch people. And then you get caught. That's no. how the police catch people. No. By people telling. No. That's how the no. police catch people. You got caught. Yes, you did. No. Police catch people. Police catch people no, when people police tell. catch people after people tell from them yeah, investigate. No, no, no. Then, then somebody investigate. coming out of nowhere. Then you investigate. He told they did an investigation. You know how many it crimes the police don't know were team. going on until somebody comes in and says, hey, they running illegal gambling over there. Yeah, but they didn't get caught until the police kicked doors and raids. And yes, and exactly. Them. Which is what but happened here. Mike Fires no, said that. They never got caught red-handed. They got caught. No. As the result they of the investigation, they got they caught. They have a said, page report saying that they had these grievances and that they had a they had grievances. toxic culture. Okay, but they never said they were cheating. No, it specifically says they were cheating. Yes. No, it specifically says no. they were cheating. They said they were using these. They were using technology. So they were using technology signs. one year, but not the other year. 2017, 2018. But he didn't tell them in 2017. He sent the memo out after the season in 2017, and they continued to do it the next year. And that's why they got suspended. The or next year that they lost. Suspended. The year. The year they the lost year they to lost. Boston. The year they lost to Boston. But who was doing it with the iPhones but, and the iWatches? But they didn't. Nobody caught them doing it in like you would do a corked bat. Nobody caught them like that. They just had somebody. No, because you can't break. Them. Nobody. But would. then, but then there's also people knew about it as well. They had TVs up in the dugout, so they were walking by there. But no, nobody got caught during the game. But then it's also it's getting to because now they also they just coming up with uh uh uh. They making up stuff now, cause now they they try to say they were wearing a buzzer yeah, on the body. Yeah, wearing buzzers because they said like, that's why uh, uh, Tuve Altuve didn't want his said, shirt. Don't like, take it come off. on now. now, now you reaching, and 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 but see that's my point, cause now the MLB now you allowing trolls, now you allowing trolls to sit up there and have you investigating stuff. It it it, it got not, it got they, your they, league looking not, they're crazy. They're not doing nothing about that. They're, they're not even worried. They're no, not they not investigated worried. that and they yeah, said there was no proof. Into, you got to look into stuff like that. There's not, there's but nothing. yeah, that's coming from trolls. That's coming from fans. Bro, it's, and that's a, it's coming an from... allegation. All you do is to allocate resources to look into or find if it's real or fake and you keep on moving. Yes, indeed, man. So look, we'll have to leave it there. Oh, uh, man, I couldn't talk about the movie. <laughs> we'll talk about that later, I guess. Absolutely, man. You are listening to the Garage Apartment. We are here each and every Sunday night. Uh, we got a big, big uh, uh, announcement coming up real, real soon, man. Uh, we thank y'all for listening. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to check out our website, garagebpt.com. Uh, again, we thank you for listening. You can it anywhere in the world, but you're here with us. So we appreciate that. May y'all have a wonderful week. Please be safe, man. Be good. If you can't be good, then be good at it. Until next time, we'll holler.
Follow the Garage Apartment on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Brand new tweet, photos, videos, hashtags. Let me share some real quick. Follow me on social media. And subscribe to the Garage Apartment Radio on YouTube.